The following may include subject matters of war, violence, loss, and adult themes, which may not be appropriate for all audiences. Viewer discretion advised. The Fellowship prepares to embark upon their quest northward to the purported resting place of Jason Tenderheart, a legendary figure from some two centuries ago. During this process, Marcus successfully heals the elderly Seneschal Rutilius from his deep, lingering wounds received during the defense of the city from the recent Utini attack. After this minor miracle occurs and Rutilius is restored, Lady Olivia has directed him to seek out the Earlit, Wace's people, for an alliance. Titus asks Nilishly about her reasons for seeking the goddess Rolf's counsel on the ship the day before. She confirms that she did so to help Griff. Little Jason and Evander speak with the former, disclosing more of his personal history. Evander badly wants to accompany Jason on this journey north, but Jason ultimately persuades the formidable chosen warrior to attempt to recruit mercenaries from Macaria instead. A desperate Kuwin mother runs up to young Lord Titus, pleading with him not to allow her headstrong daughter to join the Myrmidon. The mother, whose name is Helona, explains that she has lost almost all of her family in service to Germantum and could not bear another of her children perishing thusly. Titus agrees, although only until a cat, Helona's daughter, comes of age. Merrick and Marcus both bid farewell to their various loved ones. At last underway, the members of the Fellowship all have different reactions to being at sea. Even while suffering from seasickness, Marcus helps guide Merrick past the embattled Kithki's long-term emotional isolation. Titus talks to Nilishly about injuring Griff. He tells her about the context of her unearthly birth, things that the Divine Construct never knew. At the end, he tells her, You were born of a mother's love. This revelation leaves her stunned. Late at night, Waysa is awakened by a voice in the dark, one claiming to want to take her to her twin brother. Just a few things to mention, but I am first and foremost, I am delighted that the fellowship has been reassembled through hail here in beautiful sunny Austin, Texas, and through all sorts of different travails and travels. And here we are again, it really kind of warms my heart. It was, it was very, last episode was a lot of fun, but it's just always nice to see, to see a full house. It's good. Yeah. We'll be back. Mm. Yeah, 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 seriously. Better yeah. than Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's a pit. It's in Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. Always. Okay, um, we got us hockey. So, uh, 
Donnie, without further ado, you want to give our lovely sponsors a shout out? Absolutely. We have Eldritch Foundry if you're looking to make a fantastic mini, just like the ones that we have here. And I think we also have an opportunity to win a print of one. Yep. Uh, if you answer the trivia Trivial. question on the break, I'm always impressed with how good our minis look. And obviously, we're slowly but surely becoming a very stable customer for them. So, <laughs> yeah, so make sure to pay attention to that. And then also Cantrip Candles, if you want to have your own tail and you want to have a candle of tails, we have those available after they burn down. There is a dice inside and they always make me hungry. But yeah, shout out to them. The die, and then we'll have to have a roll off to see if uh, Ali or Randy gets the die. Oh. I think. Wait, why, <laughs> why them? Why them? Yeah. So you never word. watched it. Are you not here when we're here? Oh, so I get it. They need it. I'm I'm so embodied. It's so embodied. It's a die. Oh boy, Jeez, you've gone through two what? sets. You've gone through several sets. We need like a we need like a compilation of different of of uh, a lot of different, uh, uh, of different Randy and Allie reactions <laughs> to Tatiana's oh, die rolls. Oh, oh, I don't even know this. Yeah, oh no, it's there. Yes. It's, it's so there. It's great. There's, there's it's great. Jealousy, hatred. <laughs> there's oh, a lot no, of no. exhaling very quickly. Like the last the uh, resignation. The last we did not do uh, voting for um, MVP last session because it was. Not exactly one off, but it was a you know out of time, out of place sort of thing. Yeah. I may I may change that too. Um, I'll have to think about what makes sense with that because um, I still want to recognize y'all's hard work on those uh, on those historic episodes when we're doing that deep dive. However, from it's been a minute as uh, as Ali said when we were getting ready, she's like, "Are we still not at the island?" <laughs> you know, and I was like, "No, it's been no, a, we still haven't left your it's, it's, it's been a trip. No. <laughs> it's been a trip." <laughs> but. Uh, Titus, actually, you won, you won the last MVP. What? Yep. Woo. From episode yeah. 21. So. Yeah. It, was because, it was all because of you. Yeah, I loved true. it. Yeah. It was yeah. so it was that last, it was oh, last scene. It was that last scene. Did it. Yeah. Everybody Woo. loved the last scene. That was easily my favorite. So interaction. I'm putting that, that so fun. <laughs> in right now. Found a boy. Just so long ago. Oh yeah, well yeah, it was flashback to it feels, first I know. time playing. It, it just, your first, not your first game, but first just, time playing with us. Yeah, it just yeah that goes. was so great. It's crazy. <laughs> it was the only time I actually knew something that everyone else didn't know at the table. What, and I always that? remember that, about knowing Aurelia and where she was Oh going. yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah. It was the yeah. only secret I've ever had at this table. It was great. You, you, your character knows, your character knows quite a bit, but, you know. About farming. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the name of farms. You know how to get some worms out you know, of there. You know exactly. about your family history, just, it doesn't, a lot of those deep cuts don't, don't come up every session, that's true. Oh, yeah, because Libby's not always around, and I always forget. No. Um, <laughs> Randy, yeah. I believe you have our, uh, you have a journal entry, so we're going to go ahead and get to the lighting. All right, ready? ready? Candle, Candle of Tales! Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Like a pro. First try. Awesome. Just like that. That was amazing. It's almost like they were designed to burn. Once again, cantrip candles. <laughs> <laughs> they burn. They burn. <laughs> that should be the tagline. There you go, Kristoff. Just yeah. right there. All right. They burn. Some don't. We're good. Right. <clears throat> uh, Lord, preserve me. I don't even know how people make a living on the open waters like this with no land in sight. I say it ain't natural, but obviously that's just the motion of the boat talking. Thorn lays the path and I simply have to follow it, despite how the path rocks and sways from moment to moment. I know, well hope, it'll get better as, as I grow more accustomed to it, so I simply have to, need to stay the course. I've looked around during my brief moments of respite, my stomach gives me, and it seems like I'm the only one suffering, so it must be a personal test by him. We've been out here for the better part of a day now, and it's interesting watching how the rest of the fellowship is settling in. I ain't ever seen Merrick so free before, but he seems to be taken to the life aboard the boat well. Same applies to the Lord, what little I've seen of him. Wasting and initially as unflappable as ever, though I can't help but appreciate how fully Nalishli has embraced this new change in our environment. I would like to talk to her more about it at some point and hear what insight she has gained. A day out and already I want to be home. But this journey is important, with the potential to change so much of the world. It cannot be coincidence that Thorne chose me as he did, only to reveal the final resting place of Jason Tenderheart mere months later. More and more of the pieces are starting to reveal themselves, but ultimately, it is up to us to figure out how they are put together. That's all. 
That's nice, Randy. Thank you. Yeah. Randy, thank you. Thanks, nice. Hell yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Waysta, mm. you had a little visitor. You had a little nighttime visitor. That's where we ended it on a cliffhanger. Oh, a nighttime visitor. Oh my god. Little Paisha. Little Paisha. I will take you to your brother. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So funny. I was listening to the, like the episode on my drive here, and I did. I was like, oh, the last minute or so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that was the key. The there. credits were there. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's been, I, I usually have a fairly good memory for story. Uh, that'll be the last thing to go. And I did not. I, I was like, there were several beats in there that I had to like go back through. And I was Randy's got a great memory, so I was like bouncing it off of him and stuff. So it's been it's been a hot minute since we were uh, in that space. So wow. Yep. You have. You have this presence there. Uh, you're sleeping. You're in the what was the captain's cabin because remember, Captain Drusus gave it up uh, for, the girls. for for the two of y'all, oh, and and also because uh, Titus um, Titus Metellus, the Lord, was not going to be sleeping in there. I'm so for my girls. <laughs> who, who has the night? Who who has the the nice bed, and who has the who has the hammock that's attached? That kind of I'm definitely of... on the hammock. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? It's built feels, in a garden. It feels like, very nullishly. I don't like beds. No. Okay, okay. You can she handle though being dirt. suspended. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. You're just okay. rolling with it. It's like, it's probably like super fun to me, to be honest. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay, great. So you're fun. on this yeah. relatively comfortable bed. Uh-huh. Uh, actually, probably about the same level of uh, softness and relative luxury as being in your nook. Or alcove, although obviously vastly different circumstances. Uh, what do you want to do? Are your eyes open right now? How how are you reacting to this? So how is this voice coming to me? Does it feel outside of me, inside of me? With your character's abilities, you you feel uh, you feel like it's probably both. Uh. Okay, so, um, yeah, Waysa just opens her eyes, but she just stares straight. She's not really looking around. She's just alert. You can feel a presence right next to you, but you haven't looked at it yet. Oh. As one of the lanterns swaying, rocking gently with the boat in the darkness of the captain's cabin. She like gently, I, I would, <laughs> she has her little dagger nearby. Mm-hmm. She just grabs it and speak your name. It's not me that you're trying to find, but him. Take my hand. I will take you to him forthwith. I take no hand of someone I don't know. Don't you? Am I hearing her <laughs> speak out loud? Uh, make a perception roll. All right, Great we're question. having a new relationship. We're having a new relationship. The moons have changed. Yes. The, eclipses the lunar have and solar eclipse have waxed and waned on and then you. There is now Better, 16 plus. Yeah. Oh, uh, perception. So <laughs> probably minus two. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Did Wait, she, didn't I? Didn't she upscale? You had you upscaled on inside. On inside, you're inside. right. Fourteen is still fourteen, 14, 14 is st- solid. Yeah, fourteen so solid. Good one. Yeah, that's like twelve more than you usually get. Even though you did it, <laughs> even though you are uh, you are fast asleep because Nalishly never has. Even here, you discover you don't have any trouble going to sleep. Mm-hmm. You know that there should not be even lowered. There should not be a male voice in this cabin. So I do hear a male voice. It's male. So you, you are not experiencing it as male. Oh. You are initially experiencing it as male. Um, to you, it's it's without form, really. It's just mm. a presence there. So your eyes open. You see her talking mm-hmm. uh, across the cabin, which is, you know, which is to say probably only as far across as the fattest part of this table from where you're from mm-hmm. your swing to where she is you look over and you you see more of a defined figure there ooh mm. and um, crouched like ooh crouched, crouched. ooh this 
gross. This is so gross. <laughs> so good. It's <laughs> a little different when you're awake. Yeah. Uh, holding on, gross. holding on to the side of the, holding on to the side of the bed. Oh my god, I do not like horror movies for this reason. This is like. It as Nalishi loves them. That's true. When, and as it said, uh, as it slash he said, don't you? You you hear a little. Let me see if I can get this on the mic. There's a little rustle as one of the hands <gasps> crawls up the sheet. Um, you? I'm gonna I'm gonna speak out. Okay. Um. You know I'm gonna speak out and I'm gonna jump up. Okay. It's like I can see this hand moving on her bed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna oh, yeah. jump up. Okay. Um. Pull Winter's Harvest straight from the wall, which is right next to me. Uh, show yourself. Yes. The thing steps. And you're left to wonder if you were imagining it, except oh. for except for Nalishly's so, reaction. So it disappears. The shadows get thicker for a moment, uh-huh. and then it's just a little sliver. Uh, y'all are yeah, actually, uh, Lucida is out. The the bright moon is out. So as you're approaching the Calens, wow. So there's a little there's a little sliver of moonlight coming through one of the uh, uh, portals. I'm gonna look at Wesa and be like, Wesa, what was that? I don't know if we're alone yet. Um, yeah, you just can't see it. That doesn't mean that you're that it's actually gone, gone. But it kind of like just like the hand went away. Cut, cut, the hand went away. Hand went away, and you're not seeing the form next to the bed anymore. Okay. Yeah, right. like it took a kind of a kind of a step back. Okay. Being whoever you are, it is not polite to come out in the night and startle women awake. Show yourself or go. I'm just gonna. <laughs> just try. The lantern snaps from its mooring. <laughs> the glass shatters. Voice is annoyed. Some of the arpo, some of the arpo bladder oil starts running across the deck. <laughs> to be honest, I would love to see my brother, but I am not going to be courted this way. And she just throws herself back in bed like she doesn't care. <laughs> Okay. I love that. I can't so be much. <laughs> Wait, so, uh, well, I'm a little stung by this, these divine energies, so I'm just going to be standing alert still with my winter's harvest. And maybe 30 seconds into it, I'm going to sit on my bed, but still holding winter's harvest. You know that you can easily stand vigil through the night. One, one night of sleep is nothing to you, and you've already slept several torches. I just have an image of you with your eyes never blinking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. One day without burning the ship underneath again. We'll see. We'll see. They're trying so, to do it again. Yeah. So it rocks, rocks, rocks slowly underneath you. Uh, time passes. Is is Wesa able? Is Wesa able to uh, get back to sleep? Not fully. Maybe a little bit. Like she's like pretending to sleep and then kind of like drifts a little bit, but. And because you do have that observant feet, your subconscious is just going crazy with each little, each little so rumble. You upset. There something. is a. You do hear a distant, uh, what you think is a distant rumble of thunder, maybe. <laughs> the world is so real. It's so real. <laughs> Justin, good job on the sound. Yeah, good, great job on the sound. Yeah. For friends at home, it's, it's a whole, it's a really loud storm. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty clean, though. Uh, is there anything else you want to do? Is there anything familiar about this energy? Can I, can I sense into it at all? Under these circumstances, that's tough, but make an insight. Uh, 18. Not as such, no. Okay. Hmm, hmm, what does Wesa do now? Um. Oh. Come in. Everything all right in there? One of the, you, uh, you hear one of the men, you think this one, uh, this one's name was Orion. His, what his voice sounds like, Orion. Yeah. yeah. I, I I heard something. He's kind of a he's he's a pretty uh, a pretty alert fellow, um, and he had slept closer in that in that lineup. He had slept closer to the door. I heard something fall. 
Oh, Ryan, do you have a light? Uh, yeah, hold on. Here. There's a small bit of illumination, a few fingers of light under the, um, under the hatch, under the doorway. Open the door, Orion. Right, it's, uh, <laughs> mm. it's called a hatch out here, ma'am. And <laughs> he opens, uh, he opens the hatch. He's holding a, he's holding a candle, heedless of, heedless of the wax coming down. He doesn't seem to care about the wax dripping on his fingers. As a hand, he, um, he's pretty, uh, pretty well built, not huge, but athletic. Looks like a strapping Makarian lad, so Greek. Um, dark eyes scanning the room. And you can, I mean, obviously you can smell it. Uh, the the Arpo oil on the mm. on the deck. Mm. Uh, something something did fall, huh? I Arpo oil all over. Please be careful. Ugh. All right, hold on. We don't want that sloshing around, just in case you know, some I don't know, somebody drops a candle or something. <laughs> don't don't think the captain would uh, approve of that. <laughs> Does he have something? He he says, uh, uh, "Give me a flicker. I'll be right. I'll be right back." Here, I know this ship. I know the ship well enough already. And he comes over and he hold and he hands you the candle. Okay. If you take it, I'll take it. Say, okay. yeah. Oh no. And then he. Goes out to get some rags. Close the hatch. Let's search real quick before he comes back. It is a door, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it does have, if you want, it does have uh, like a little miniature uh, bar mm. on it that you can that you can slide. Like oh, it slides across. It slides across. Yeah, thicker thicker than like a modern than a modern one, but still not a full, you know, on both sides. Mm-hmm. Um. But uh, you close, do you lock it too, or no? No. Okay. And then you just do a quick, the room is small. Yeah. So, all right, go ahead and make uh, investigation checks. Mm-hmm. 22. 22. 19. Hey. That's okay. Right. All right. That's right. All right. We're, nice. we're Love you guys. <laughs> the tides have changed. <laughs> this is great. We're in a new reality. That's right. I'm going to throw away my dice. We're doing the thing. You're looking around, and both of you... Both of you get the feeling that whatever it was that came in here, uh, that's a that's a pretty high roll. So I won't make you do a, a follow up Arcana check. You get the feeling that there was some there was some definite hankiness. There no nothing was disturbed. You know that the room there are only like three or four places to hide in this room, period. And you've checked all of them, including the chest that was in here. You know, you've taken Winter's Harvest and stuck it in the chest a couple different directions in case somebody was cute and trying to ball up there. Um, and you see the way that the ARPA oil has quickly sloshed around on the deck. You don't see any prints there, any nothing. Mm. So even though you did hear something interacting with the bed, and so did you, like physically interacting with the bed, you don't see any convincing evidence after a quick but thorough search that anything physical was in the room. Mm. Do I get a sense if it's like an energy that I know? You're pretty attuned to that and you don't, it didn't, this feels as different, Ellie, as uh, as the water itself. Mm. As you get into this new domain. Alishley, what did you see? Or hear? I heard the voice of a man. Hmm. And I saw his fingers. A man? I believe so. I did not hear that. What did you hear? A voice, quite androgynous, uh, speaking to me about my brother, to take me to my brother. Tell me about your brother. There's not much I really know. Uh, my parents never shared about his existence to me. It is only just before Publia brought me to Germentum that he came to me in a dream. Uh, I have a twin. A twin? Aye. And he gave me the word here that I could write, speak, and understand Darrow. Without him, I would just be the girl from the Urlet 
speaking Valpiri. He knows of me, and I know of him. But there's not much more. Well, do you know where he is? The, you believe the last that you remember is he was with your father. He's with my father. And they were in and out of Zahar. In and out of Zahar. I've never met my father. Mysterious man. Left Germentum right before I came. So, I have no idea. I, it would be terrifying to think that that could have been my father. <laughs> well, is your father able to turn into a wisp of smoke? Hide in the shadows? Belong to the darkness? What do you know about your father? <laughs> All I know is he's powerful. And he, to be with my mother, he must have his own tricks. Mm. I'm, I'm back. Hi. Come in. The door's unlocked. <laughs> the door. The door. He actually, he actually gives you a little. He, he, he gives you a little smile. Uh, his, his nice teeth, uh, shining, shining in the candlelight. Uh, then gets on his hands and knees like it's no thing, and starts just quickly, vigorously scrubbing at the deck to absorb as much of the oil as he can before it sets or before it gets into crevices that that'll be hard for him to reach. Good man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, can't say as much for the quality of that Morin, it looks up. Although, Captain usually doesn't have second-rate stuff in his in his own quarters, you know? Kind of weird. Uh, mind, the, mind the glass, man. And he's, so he has gloves on, and he's carefully picking up the shards of glass and bundling them into the rags. Mm. You want me to find another lantern for you? Aye. Thank you. All right. Um, he says... Actually, hold on. I'll just snag the one next to the door. I, I, I can find one easy enough. The ship is, y'all requisitioned some crazy amount of gear. I, I definitely appreciate it. Makes this trip easier. Mm -hmm. So he goes out, he basically just goes to the doorway, to, uh, reaches over, unties something. Hatchway. I was thinking about that. <laughs> We're splitting the difference here, Donnie. <laughs> just want to be here. Yeah, Nilishly no, 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 is a powerful present. So. I love it. <laughs> and then he takes and very, like, <coughs> mindfully and deliberately ties and then ties again in a, you know, in a quite a um, secure fashion this lantern to the hook that the other one was attached to and then actually gives it, like, a good little yank. Huh, all right, that should hold, barring barring deliberate mischief. You sure everything's fine? Aye. And if you hear things again, please uh, continue to check in. All right. Um, well. They, Fale. Uh, Evening. Fale, you rat, and goes out. Hmm. Right formal that one, and. <laughs> Ooh. Closes. Eyes are face, yes. <laughs> Close it, closes the door uh, behind him, and you're back. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to continue, or do you want to? Is there anything else that you want to do, or do you want to settle in and try to? And the lights on in the room now. Uh, you can. You can easily enough. You can uh, coax the lantern into. And this this one, uh, I should note, this one is a bullseye lantern, Ooh. so it's a pretty pretty nice tech where you can dial it and there's a little oh. oculus that opens and then closes. Nice. Yeah. It's made for storms. Kind of like an eclipse. Kind of Wait like an eclipse. Are you going to be comfortable enough tonight to fall asleep? I know what I'll do. I'll pray. And Wesa looks into the light mm -hmm. of the lantern and she... Actually, Nalishly no, understands. Um, she sends a prayer to <coughs> Quaddle. Mm. Dawn, um, Lord of the Dawn Star, please protect this space. Let only those with good intention come into this dwelling. And she just imagines this light surrounding the edges of the chamber. And Tess Cotley has never really like heard 
like a mortal, I guess, pray before out loud, because you prayed out loud, right? Mm hmm So I can and hear it. And you're initially? I mean, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Dread Mother's right Ooh. there for you. Meridian <laughs> slip. Yes. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah, it's I... It's really highly receptive. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I feel like the, there's a, a sense of, I don't know, maybe like, like there's a sense that I could also summon my, my my connection is more like in inside, I guess. So I don't really speak prayers out loud. No. But to hear Wesa speak a prayer out loud, I guess it's getting me curious about. Has Has Nalishly ever prayed in this campaign? I've only I, I speak to Tescotli, but don't I have not prayed. Believe you have prayed. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. So this is a, like a new experience for mm -hmm. me, and I think I'm just like curious, actually. Yeah. Would you like to say something too? Well, how, how does one pray? Mm. Mm. What, what I do is I feel my connection to this deity, to this, this being that guides me, and I ask for the support, and I mm. see it already done. I could try to my dread mother. She doesn't seem one to take prayer lightly, but I could try. I've prayed to her before. Okay. And should I put my hands anywhere? What feels natural? Um, none of this feels natural. <laughs> hmm, then perhaps you can put your hands either on your heart, on your lap, on your hands. She's gonna, she's gonna do this one. And she's going to uh, speak out loud, kind of tremulously, mm. in front of Waysana's like <coughs> voice. Dread Mother. Hi, it's me. Um, your daughter? Am I your daughter? I don't know. Uh, may you be with us on this evening. Thank you. And comes to. Beautiful. Interesting. <laughs> and now we shall sleep. I, I think I will continue to watch this eve, though. You may sleep, Wesa. Hmm. Thank you, Nilly. All right. <laughs> with that, you actually do manage to drift into a light sleep. Uh, as you do, you know that you are well provided for. The rest of the evening passes without incident. Mm. Although, when you wake up, um, imagine actually tuned to the baker, you wake up quite early. You wake up well before dawn, actually. You feel, you feel a, a pressure building, uh, not inside of you, but around you. You feel actually pretty good, and you see Nalishly, you know, looking as she always does, just very solid, formidable. Mm -hmm. um, outside, though, there is some sort of literal and, and maybe even a metaphysical pressure building. Hmm. Is it condensed in the cabin, or is it just in the ship, everywhere? As you investigate, uh, it doesn't feel particularly intense in the cabin. You know, you start going about your business, you get ready for the day, uh, etc. As we um, turn to the rest of the fellowship, just keep in mind that you're, as this, as this scene progresses, you're kind of feeling more and more uh, and more of this, of this pressure. And eventually, I'm just going to assume you you figure it out over the day. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, you've been rolling really well. So two things. One, it increases the farther north that you go. Mm. The second is that the Uralit are the only culture that might have that word. Um, you... That's storming outside pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Hopefully the power does the power goes out, we will yeah, we will do what we can. Good. But yeah. Um, it will all be through YouTube comments. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just be we'll just be play by post, baby. We're revert to the nineties. So I uh, you oh, how would she conceptualize that? I know I said I was gonna make you roll. You're gonna get this one or the other. Make a uh, make an arcana check. Because this is this would be a very Weird word. Mm. Six. Six. Okay. There is a word in High Valpiri for it, like in the sacred texts. 
you've run across it, you can't recall it right now. But essentially what you're feeling, Tatiana, is an increase in, in pressure on your, on your inner waters. Mm-hmm. Which, as we established last ep- episode, or 20.5, depending on how you're watching this, um, the Uralit do have, that's their word for the subconscious. They're the only culture that has a way of directly expressing that in this ancient, in this facsimile of a fantasy ancient world. So you can feel it just building up inside of you, but not bodily. Do I get the sense that that has to do with Volitio or with where we're going or? Not Volitio. Not Volitio. Probably where you're going. <clears throat> Hi. <clears throat> Probably where you're going. Okay. And do I sense that visitor lingering in any way? Not as an individual. You are forced to admit, though, that something it would be easier for something like that to be lurking when just there's kind of this general static going on. For the for the player to know, the word that she was looking for was, um, uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to decide what it is in Valpiri, but the word would be psychic, like a psychic pressure um, growing. All right, Marcus, you too are no stranger to early days. Why don't you make a con saving throw and see how you're feeling on day two? Hey, natural 20. Ah. Whoa, hey. I believe that's a third of three. I'm so scared to roll my dice. Where did this energy go, guys? We're so screwed. No, 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 no. It's all shifted. No, the broken all... towers over, thank God. <laughs> this dude has passed. <laughs> hey, you rolled what you needed to roll when you needed to roll it, dude. <laughs> so, that's true. Um, okay. Uh, you wake up and like like the Lord of Light has blessed you with his with his smile. You feel right as rain. Perfect. Thank you. Because you were miserable. No doubt. Go, yeah, going no on. Doubt. You even you even ralphed a couple times during the night, but now you're now you're done. Yeah. Settled in. Yeah. Get up. Wash my mouth out. Yeah. Go get food because I'm freaking starving. Yeah. No, you're, yeah. you're <laughs> damn hungry because you basically didn't you basically didn't eat for almost a like a day and a half. Yeah. It's been kind of one of those good spirits where you're just like humming as you just move along to the <laughs> ship. Now I'm taking some time to investigate it. Okay. I haven't seen it before. I've never been on one of these things this big, so. Okay, for sure. And seeing who's up and about, watching how they change cards, if they do change cards, things like that. Okay. Getting ready for morning, uh, morning devotions. Yeah, yeah. You're you're up there and you're up there in plenty of time. You're also not going to be alone. Oh. Um. As you greet the sun, there are several curious crew members who were watching you, including the second mate, uh, Vibius. They come up to you, they kind of nod, and... No. Uh, uh, right, blessed, and you you know he's not, uh, he's not Makari in both by name and by accent. Uh, this was the one, oh no, you weren't, sorry, you were you were too sick, you weren't down there. This was the one who was, who had the, who had the book out who was thumbing through when he was basically standing vigil with um, mm. Wesa during the whole, when you were trying to investigate Jason's pendant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Larry one. So, yeah, yep. Okay. Uh, so he says, I uh, hope you don't mind, uh, fellow Marcus, yes? Absolutely. Uh, some of us were, well, <laughs> we were beyond curious, uh, given what you, what transpired between you and the Seneschal. Um, what can I answer for you? I just wanted to see what you did. Hmm. Uh, You're gonna. You're about to pray, right? I mean, we all we all are. Absolutely. Would you like to join me? Uh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Mark Ken and I have a specific song that we sing in the morning to give our devotion to Quailathon. Are you a a worshiper of Quailathon? I take it. I take it. Of course. Perfect. Uh, Well, it's a very simple song. Third light. He reaches Seventh. under Seventh. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Likewise. And then for the next like 10 minutes, I'm just going to take him step by step through anyone who wants to learn the song. Okay. It's like piece by piece. No. I'm going to mark down the four that are there with you. Um, That's awesome. Roll a die 20, Randy. Let's recreate them everywhere. Believers. Oh, yeah. 19. 19. Ooh. Hey, we're all on the oh. same page here. Oh, my oh, my God. God. Island, guys. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> we have nothing to worry about. We're rolling awesome, right? 
Nothing bad is gonna happen. Nothing. Let's try just one day. He's in the bathroom. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> don't really anything. So you have uh, second mate, second mate Vivius. You have uh, an alert, Happy Orion. And then the two others there are Ambrose and uh, Ethan. Another Ambrose. Always an Ambrose, Corey. Every campaign has to have an Ambrose. Uh, Why? And you do see one of his one of his characters back in the day. Uh, uh-huh. One of his crazy characters back in the day. Okay, yeah. So uh, in Ethan, you kind of note to yourself, it, it will be as, you know, however you want Marcus to take this. Uh, you see him looking looking hopefully around. Uh, he does seem to want to be here, but he's also looking around. And then when he catches sight of Jason, he just, his his face lights up. Mm. <laughs> Stiff competition there, mate. Huh? Stiff competition there. Uh, what you mean? I'll tell you when you're older. For now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, me and me Ken get together every day. Uh, once we're back into Jermantum, you're more than free to join us. And then we have Beacon Andros give us a bit of a summon to get us started and ready for the day. Oh, I, I don't go around beacons or, or, or nothing. They, they, they kind of scare me. Yeah, they scare me too a little bit, but they're light. They are appointed by Thorn himself in some situations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as for me... Uh, so you've gone through... Yeah, so at this point, you've, you've gone through the ritual, mm-hmm. um, the greeting, greeting the sun, and there... Um, I need to be perfect. Just have fun with it. The three, yeah, Vibius is like, well, that's good because I can't, I can't hold a tune to save my life. Neither can Alba. So <laughs> it's all good. Uh, your wife, yes. Hi. Lovely woman. She is. I actually got to, actually got to see her interacting with some of the children at the dock and some of the um, Kithki. Mm. Well, she's the light of my life. I don't know where I'd be without her. He takes, he's got this kind of field. You actually see Randy in the book that he carries around, this dog-eared, battered book that he carries around. Uh, the second mate has actually crafted it such that he's got a little divot in the spine, mm. and he uses that to take the ink block, because remember, this is, writing is hard, uh, ancient world and all that, and, he, and he's crushing it in this divot using the book as a, as a support. Oh, um, that's really clever. And then uh, holds it up. Well, you know, had to do this. Now, it's nice not to have to carry this around and afraid to get your freaking head chopped off. And then Orion puts a little bit of water in there. He has this ink. And he says, I usually have a pretty good memory. And then just having heard it the one time, he speaks back to you. He, miss, he only misses one lyric, uh, one word on the, uh, mm, on the song. Well done. Well done, mate. Ch- checks it. And... Uh, I hope you don't. I hope you don't mind. Uh, I did. <laughs> so, I I do know Beacon Andros, not personally. I know of him, uh, and I share some of his uh, opinions. I've seen a lot of grift and a lot of lying and a lot of corruption in the church, and so I uh, I checked around about you, and I guess this isn't the first time that this golden light that you've wielded this golden light. Hmm? Yeah, it's not. Well, let's hoping it's not the last. Uh, I don't think it will be until my breath goes, but I appreciate the sentiment. I uh, think we might be needing it where we're going. I know we're going to need it where we're going. He kind of looks dubiously uh, up north. I can't put my finger on it, but something's already heavy in the air. Uh, might be a storm coming, but not seeing the clouds. I've never done this before. Huh? I've never done this before. I've he done kind of it. shakes himself, yeah. I've done it once uh, during a moment of crisis, but if you'd like, maybe I can give a blessing to the ghosts of us who have gathered here today. See if Thon will actually walk with us for a bit. His eyebrows shoot up and the men look. Um, while this was going on, Donnie, uh, what was your character doing? Were you joining uh, them? Were you doing something <clears throat> else? Going over the maps and then going over the journal back and forth, back and forth. Because I was reading the maps with uh, with the captain, the captain yeah. and uh, Drew sees. And uh, I got to roll for navigation with advantage, because that's all I did for the prior night, aside from talking with Uh That's true. So go ahead, and you still need to make that roll, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, do it. Oh, buddy. 
Hot dice, hot dice. Uh, 14 plus 4, 30, or 18. 18? Okay. Wunderbar. Let's go, we're all on fire. So the, uh, yeah, I got a 14 and 13. We're okay, guys. guys. We're okay. You this have, is great. You, you have this weird moment where sometimes you forget that you're only 16 winters, and certainly people around you do because you don't look like it. Uh, and Hard life up north. When Drusus, uh, at, least, at least for your character, <laughs> when Captain Drusus says, ah, oh, clever lad. Ah, oh, you've worked it out. Well done. And he, 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 claps, you on, <coughs> he claps you on the shoulder. And he gives you this proud, almost fatherly smile. Um, and he's, you know, he's in, he's around 40, so he's definitely old enough to be uh, your father. Uh, good captain, try lord around the rest. Uh, right. No offense taken. Right. It's just, uh, I, you're very easy to be around. I like to think I'm a lord of the people. Oh. I don't have to wonder about that. You are. Believe me, you've you've never been to Leptis Regium, Dominic, have you? No. <laughs> you, are, you are a breed apart from what's lurking down there. Everything I've heard from them, I try to do the opposite. <clears throat> I will continue to try to help you any way that I can. Thank you, Captain Drusus. What is it? <sighs> what color was the sky in the morning? Clear. Okay. Clearing he's, he's, something's as you're as you're coming up uh, as you're coming up from from below decks and you're setting the the ship on course for the day. He's kind of looking around and he doesn't if if you follow him for a while so you see Marcus uh, there it's dawn now. Um, doesn't look green anymore. He finished. <laughs> he shakes his head. Nay, Domini, it does not. But he's he's almost prowling around the ship looking for something. Do you want to leave him and uh, join Marcus for the services, or are you going to stay with him? I'll uh, look over to Marcus and see him like, kind of doing those blessings a bit and leave it to them. You know, okay. I've seen enough of Quailathon, you know, to believe. Uh, I've yeah, I'll follow him. <laughs> I've seen enough Quailathon. <laughs> Golly. Uh, yeah, no, he'll follow his way. <laughs> what are you looking for? I don't know. Just... Something, something's not, something's out of joint. I don't know, at first I thought maybe I was hearing something, something weird or the jib was off a little bit, the, the forward sail was off a little bit. It's not that, crew's too competent. Oh, uh, give me half a torch. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start from aft and move, uh, and move forward and see what I can find. Maybe, maybe I'll I'm just. a quick look around and see if there's anything out of order as well. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. We're going to a place that should make people nervous. Okay, so you uh, you start looking around as well, Merrick? Yes, we look around, kind of like flipping through the journal too. But like kind of, mm, 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 ship shape okay. stuff. Look like I'm, you know, a guy with a clipboard, making sure everyone's still working. <laughs> You're giving the crew moral support, got yep. it? Yeah. Uh, Merrick was uh, learning the ropes of you were. Uh, being the crow's nest um, at some point probably on this day, yeah, on this day, um, he's going to go off into a quiet area um, and uh, undo his, his, I guess you would call it coming of age bracelet, mm -hmm. uh, for those on scene, and, and weave in um, Granny's hair. And uh, mm. just really quickly, just for from a note, you know, from a, a bird's eye view perspective when he's doing this, um, when he takes off the actual bracelet, it's a piece of base leather which has what you can tell is a partial imprint of a griffin. Um, you might recognize that from from Lord Titus's um, uh, signet. Uh, and then, um, in addition to that, you will see teeth, which, if I'm sure, if the process, the basic teeny teeth that are kind of like poking holes in it to support. Um, a bunch of different uh, threads. Uh, one is, uh, it looks like a, um, a bowstring. Uh, one, uh, a couple beads. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you'll see a piece of cloth uh, that is also woven. Again, these all have meanings of, of either people who have died uh, or, or people that um, represent certain events. And, 
each Kithki makes their bracelet their own way, and they have to do that to actually be accepted as an adult in in the uh, in our culture. So, with Granny specifically, he's he's putting it in the center, um, partly for protection reasons, and he's weaving it around on both sides to ensure it's, it's locked into those those riveted teeth, essentially, upon that. And, it's um, gonna take you a while, then. It'll take him a while. He's, in the process, he is, the way we pray, just really thinking from a nature water perspective about the great mother and thinking through the ancestral memories he's had of um, Granny since the first day he actually took breath, uh, which was in Jerementum when it was founded. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, newly founded. Newly founded. The same age as the city. Yeah. Actually. And he's also recalling those memories. And occasionally he's kind of, kind of comparing them to Jasmine to see if there's any sort of... Um, He's trying to figure out that puzzle as well a little bit through that process. Uh, it's just a, it's more of a distraction, but it's something that is distracting him because he's also thinking about Jasmine quite a bit. Uh, Corey, have you ever had somebody pour cold water down your back out of nowhere? Yes. Make a dexterity safe. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wake up, Merrick. Get back to work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're like deep in thought oh, yeah. right now oh, yeah. about this. You have the bracelet open. That's still pretty good. Uh, dexterity save? Yeah. That'd be a 19. A right. least an 18 or 19? It's a 14 plus 5. So okay, 18. 19. All right. <laughs> We're on fire there. <laughs> so, oh, you feel this as you're contemplating all of this. You're pulling up all of these different memories. Yeah, you just that. felt a presence, but that's impossible. And you look around. Who's there? Who's there? Why did you leave, Bog? (laughs) You see him tense up. You almost dropped the bracelet. You're not finished. You need to tie it off now, um, or you risk. It's not. You're not. You're not. It's not done. But just to secure it, you don't obviously don't want everything scattering. All that current. Oh, pain, I just literally shove into the back corner and I focus again on on getting gr- the bracelet secured because that is precious. Are you trying to finish it correctly or are you just tying it off so that it doesn't scatter? You Tying it off you can do in like two rounds or something, but trying to do it correctly is, cra- is going to be a hard craft roll. I will tie it off for now to make sure it's secure. Okay. It may not be in the in the appropriate fashion that right. I will long term. Uh, That's fine. And then, yeah, I will I will do an investigation, observe, and look around and okay. observe if I can see anything. What's your uh, passive? We have it. Plus two invest. No, you're plus two investigation. Oh, uh, that'd be plus two. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, do I have? No, I don't. You quickly look around. I have a plus four on that one, sorry. Plus four, that's what I thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah that one's proficiency, uh, yeah, proficiency in that. Uh, you quickly look around. I mean, you, uh, ship's large, but there are only so many places to hide, especially because you're not, like, you know, next to a bunch of barrels or something like that. You don't see anything. You definitely don't feel... You definitely don't see that person here. Do I feel wet? Was that was the wet was was the feeling a prickle sort of like as as a as a, as a, like cold, a cold sweat, a cold sweat mm-hmm. come down my you back? Feel your own sweat. Mm-hmm. Where are you at? You hear whispers on the wind. Your groin aches. What? Robs. Bloody. Oh. Soil is going on here. I take a sniff um, of the air. Salty. Do I feel your ear. I mean, the sight, but do I feel a presence? Your ears pop. Where are you? And I guess maybe some members might hear that. I don't okay. know. It's pretty gruffle. So, yeah, some of the men look over, one of them raises an eyebrow. Did you see anything here? No. You mean, aside from 
what's supposed to be here? Yes. Stow away. So Perhaps. pretty. Uh, so pretty beefy. One of the more beefy members. Um, his name is Lycurgus. Uh, he he comes over. He's got a he's got a pretty wicked axe on his back that he carries around. He's also one of the few that walks around in armor, not as heavy as Titus is, but still there. He comes over to you. We got a problem here. He just looks around. You know, looks at, even though it's too far, kind of looks looks around some of the uh, some of the gear that you have lashed to the side that someone could conceivably try be trying to hunker down behind and hide. Oi! You see anything up there? Looking down. This one. Uh uh. America just continues looking around. Yeah, no, you're you're alone. Or, you know, aside from like Argus. Do you Is this normal on the seas to to hear things through the wind? Not two days out, no. Further? Yeah, it's usually a lot a lot longer than that. I mean you get to a moon and all kinds of what the fuck? He he's smelling something. You don't smell anything out of the ordinary. What are you smelling? Do I know who this is? Lycurgus is his name. Yeah. Like what was it? Um, Lycurgus. Lycurgus. L Y C U R G O S. And you would have clocked him because he's uh, he's probably the physically most powerful member of the crew. Uh, Lycurgus, have you? What do you? Will you tell me what's going on here? Boy. Where's that smoke coming from? There's no smoke that you see. We, we got a fucking fire somewhere. And he st- he he takes off and he starts running and uh running and looking, gets to the gear. He starts tearing through the gear, just whoo, whoo. so. Uh, the captain is below decks when this is going on. Um, you're still above with your with your clipboard, and you see this large man. He's a little shorter than you, but um, at least your weight. Mm. Uh, just flinging backpacks. Has uh, bladders, bladders both of. Is there any crew members that are by me? Sure. Yeah, I just like, does he usually do this? No, never. Like Argus, steady yourself, and I'll come down to him. He looks over, and his eye, his eyes are his eyes are wild. There's a fire somewhere. There's a there's a, a burning, choking fire somewhere. Are we around? No. Yeah. <laughs> are we around? Uh. I, yeah, because I, I don't think y'all would have stayed below decks, huh? Yeah. W- once the day started, I'm, I'm imagining. Yeah. Not, I, I know it's like you know, oh, Jam, you're being too nice, but I don't, I don't think you would be down there. So yeah, you no. probably are all up. And this is, you know, the ship is relatively large, but everybody can see any mm-hmm. disturbance that's going on on the ship. will make his way over to Titus. Okay. Yeah, and I'll slowly kind of approach him, and be like, "Are you all right? There's no fire." <sighs> no, I just, I can't. I can't, I can't be slow about like fire. Curtis. Bad things happen when we're slow with fires. Really bad things. Just take a seat, please. Make a persuasion And I'm also going to be like, and give me your axe. Just in case. That's going to make the DC a lot higher. Mm. Okay. Persuasion. Uh, that is 16. Uh, make a Dignitas roll on top of that. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not going to penalize you for this, but I want to see if your status is a lower. Oh boy. Yeah, you. that's just a flat 16. You can trust me. He looks over to. Oh, fire. He looks over to Vibius. <coughs> Vibius just gives a slow nod, although he looks as bewildered as you do. And this this hulk of a man slowly reaches back takes it and just starts coughing Order. now <laughs> Marcus okay Lord. um yeah you he's peel condor right uh I can understand it so you run uh you run over there and he he's oh, boy, boys he starts just no 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 we, we understand uh he starts downing downs one bladder and just starts guzzling it and then coughs a little bit more and I like try taking off his armor to kind of make it more comfortable okay. for him. If he's his, eye, his, his eyes are watering, and and he uh, he help, as soon as you start stripping the armor off, he he helps, and then a couple of the other guys get get the armor off. <sighs> Titus, anyway, the, there's some sort of working going on, causing people's fears to come out. What you just mean? hallucination? He, yes, I don't know 
Hang on. The magistrate was here. Oh, fuck it. Name. He he unstraps the axe and he ha- he hands it to you, and then he reaches. He kneels down and he reaches in the gear and he's you actually see his hand shaking like he expects to contact something horrible. Mm. Uh, I'll reach in and touch the gear and be like, "There's no fire," and I'm obviously not feeling anything warm. It, it ain't the fire. I'm 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 worried about, Lord. What? What are you worried about? No, he's he's not here. That someone you fear it didn't happen. Did you hear something? Not fear, no. Mm. Love. He gets back up. <sighs> Why don't you? My brother's in a place nobody can hurt him. He's with the Lord a lot now. I was all a long time ago. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'm good. I, I I don't I don't I don't know I, I just it was like I was just I was right back I am the there. perfect person to calm you down Waysa and I'll call over and be like tell him everything that you saw smelled felt heard she's very good at comforting people especially when they're bringing up their memories it says something's going on my memories came to me just mere flickers ago as well has anyone else experienced something like this? Yes. Well, Last night. For now, we'll meet in the cabin and discuss it. Uh, Icarus, if... The, the captain runs up. <sighs> Domini, trouble? Lycurgus, what's wrong? Is there violence? Uh, no, captain. And... Uh, captain, there might be something amiss. Perhaps something in the water. Let me discuss it with you privately. All right. Um, Lag, you need to come. Oh, you're gonna go with the, with the advisor. Got it. Go. So, um, yeah, no call for them away from the crew to have a quick discussion after this is done. Okay. Yeah, you have to, you know, stir suspicions about shadow monsters, but you know. Uh, and there are some murmurs. There are some murmurs after that. Um. You have the conversation with the captain. You catch him up to speed. In the interest of time, you catch him up yeah. to speed. I assume you're not withholding anything no, from him. No, but I'm like, apparently other members of the crew might experience these things, so we need to be on the ready. It feels it's like phantom memories. Well, I knew this trip wasn't going to be easy, and I did, draw, I did grow up in space, so it's not like well working's unknown to me. Have you traveled this far north before? No, never. Very few do. Has anyone on this crew? No. Well... Then clear communication is paramount. All right, you take, uh, you take him aside. Nalishly, did you want? Were, are you going to be with Waysa while this is going on, or do you want to be doing something else? I'm going to be with Waysa. Okay, I'm going to follow in too. Okay, fair enough. Are you going to try to correlate? Are you going to try to take this opportunity to finish the braiding? Yeah, I'm going to. With with a hurry. Okay. Normally I wouldn't make you roll for this, but because of the pressure, uh, make a make a dex check. It can be a dex save. Can I? Yeah, and I'll be with Mirik outside of the door while they're interviewing him, so uh, he can just tell me. Because of the other situations, I'm actually viewing this as either some sort of will working or some reason. sort of mental control, like what what Katrin could do with the chair. Uh, so, uh, I, yeah. I, I basically... <laughs> sure. No, that, I, that, I am that trying to explain in. away that, okay, I... Someone's basically fucking with me, and I'm gonna focus on getting the bracelet appropriately attached. Okay, yeah, make a make a roll. And this is the first time we've all never seen land. Mm. That's true. Uh, sure. Fifteen. Uh, good enough. Yeah, good enough. You're not gonna win any art prizes, but you you cinch it up solidly, appropriately. You finish the pattern. Um, and perhaps this is just going to be your life. There's never really going to be that much downtime. Not for you. Not now. Okay, um, essentially he gives you, uh, he gives you uh, a tale of his younger brother. Uh, they were, they were orphaned, and, uh, he tells you that there was uh, a fire with their foster family. Mm, and that he couldn't, he tried and tried and tried, and he shows you where his, his arms and back were burnt pretty badly as part of the roof was falling in on him but his by the time he pulled his younger brother out he was already dead oh my <clears throat> from the from the heat and the heat and the smoke thank you for sharing your tale 
Make a um, make a persuasion check. Let's see how de- deft your touch was. Mm. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Good enough. He doesn't go wild. Um, but he's you see him just worked up, and he kind of keeps repeatedly, repeatedly grabbing at uh, his bare back, his now bare back, where the axe was at. Mm. Can have him back when he proves himself. <laughs> I want to, I want you to understand, with with the sense of peace, to have the knowledge that we are going perhaps into waters that have mm, effect on us. To not totally believe what does not seem simple. Does that make sense? <laughs> not really, but uh, but I'll take your word for it. Remember, remember what's under your feet. Remember what's in your hands. And if it reminds you of these terrible nightmares of your past, mm, slow down. All right, I think I think I can do that. Bye. Right. Thank you. Uh, what's your proper title? You can call me advisor. All right, advisor. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a ni- nice fancy title. We don't really have that in Macaria. Uh, it's good, though. Thank you. Mm, I, I would like to find Jason. Okay. And I would say, Nilly, if you want to join me. Hi. And Marcus, you as well. Hi. Um, is he around? He has, as Jason's do, sequestered himself uh, off, to, off to one side of the ship. This time he's... This time he's way, uh, way to the aft, almost hanging off the, the side. Mm. Uh, he has the pendant off of his neck and he's staring into it. Mm, friend. Oh, ah. How are you doing? Hmm. The energies are strong today. The mana. Do you sense it too? Hmm. Strong, I, I I guess, uh, yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't say it that way, Waysa. It's just I'm trying to figure out. I don't know how to say this, but it's uh strong. By those lights, it'd be, I guess, that way still, like we're. We're sailing right into a whole mess of something. Mm. Mess of light or something else? Yeah, I guess it's a kind of light, but I I don't see it around things ever, just people. Mm. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why it's dancing all across the horizon like that. Mm. I wish you could see it. It's so, so pretty. Mm. Do you get the sense that these lights are benevolent or not? They feel pretty harsh to me. Harsh? Yeah. Hmm. I think it might be able to be a natural or magical barrier to keep people away from this area. Sort of like a a ward. I don't know what that is, Marcus. Uh, Fence? A magical fence, maybe? Could be. Mm. Yeah, actually, that makes a lot. That'd make a lot of sense with what I'm seeing. And do any of our lights look any different now? What are lights? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm s- sorry. No, pretty much. You just you're glowing. No, it's it's it's. I like it. it just it's hard to look at sometimes. Uh, no, no, I, I haven't seen the. Lord, but the rest of y'all all seem pretty much the same. Oh. Would you, oh. could you stand just like, just like a little bit <laughs> this way? Just like a little bit behind her? Yeah, I can. Okay, her, that, her like shadows will. Let her clips you. Absorb it out and it'll yeah, be good. Maybe. That's good, Corey. <laughs> maybe it's the people who have an affinity to the spiritual presence. Like you and maybe whatever that gentleman's name was. That fella's name? 
Uh, with the axe who just told us his dog, I can't remember his mm, name. Ly... Lycurgus. 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 Vulture. Maybe it's affecting those people first because they're the most susceptible to it. And the closer we get to it, the ones who are least susceptible to it will start feeling it as well. <clears throat> don't know. Mm. Is there anything I can do? Well, Jason, is, can you ever work with the lights? What do you mean? Do you ever commune with them? Or move them, change them? Wait, well, see, you gotta remember, you're a lot smarter than I am. I don't think that's true. Uh, I have to admit, it never occurred to me to try. Would you be willing to communicate with the lights up ahead? To let them know that we come in peace? I, I can give it a go. I would really appreciate it. Okay. I'm willing to be here with you, or if you want to be alone. Mm, nah, I like it when you're around. Oh, oh sweet. Uh, I should, I should go up to the, I, sh, I should go up to the forecastle then, though. The Maybe. what? The forecastle. The the front. <sighs> Maybe get some. Maybe get some food. Um, yeah. It's still going to be a good most of the day, though, before we get there. Mm -hmm. It's tricky on the sea, you know? I've been on the sea enough to know that. Looks close, it's not. Mm. You ain't never seen this before? No, sir. Mm. No, I'd remember this. Marcus is fine. Huh? Marcus is fine. He knows out here. Uh, you kind of look like a sir to me, but okay. Um, Marcus, <laughs> I'll just, hey, how about as the mood strikes me? Fair? Love it. Uh, is, is Merrick okay? Hmm. I think so. Do you sense he's not? No, just... We all have things that hurt us before, some worse than others. Hmm. And she looks at Nalishli. Has anything hurt you, Nalishli? There's been all this craziness, but it really hasn't permeated you. Mm. There was a guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's gone. There were fingers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Things showed up. <laughs> no. Is there anything that haunts you? Huh. So that we might get ahead of this? Well, yes. Hmm. But why must you know now? Well, my friend, I'd like to be there for you if the hunting comes. Well, if it comes, then you can help me. But until then, I will not be sharing what haunts me with anyone on this ship. Uh, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are you all moving toward yeah, the toward walking with Jason? Okay. I'm behind him, so then, then. look at this. Yeah. Uh, when I was 14, my sister died mm. uh, doing a need, oh, more 13, really, but to an Intini track that I was responsible for protecting her and I missed and I didn't protect her, mm. thinking that my dad was going to need more protection. And they came in through the back of the way instead of the front. And then she died as a result. Uh, I've made peace with it, but I think that you might be on the right track here. Mm. Things that have some kind of emotional connection to people, unresolved fears, unresolved problems. Mm. Like if we're going by, uh, I'm just so terrible. Like Hergus. Like Hergus. It's always Thank you, whoever that was. <laughs> uh, like Hergus, uh, I saw a, a small kerfuffle with Merrick, but I ain't sure what was going on. But you know, it's Merrick is a bundle of everything, so. Then it... <laughs> a bundle of everything. <laughs> a bundle, a bundle of joy. That's all. That was a bit. And but and all I know, your past, but you said it affected you. Well, something happened over the evening. So, mm -hmm. and I believe, and I might very well be wrong here, but you might be one of the most attuned spiritually mm. to otherworldly things. I mean, maybe we're talking about Thorn, I could give an insight, but 
but it's a pretty narrow scope of what I know, and I don't even know that much. Mm. But, I mean, you're at the hut now. <laughs> True. Uh, well, we must stay strong. It's, if it's what I think it's going to be, it's just going to get getting worse, and it's going to be getting more pronounced and more pronounced. I could be wrong, and I'm going to say that I probably am, and I hope I am, but I think that it might be a good idea to start walking around with buddies. My buddy and me. Good buddies. <laughs> and, and the light. It heals. It brings so much. It does. When it's I can use it. Me and Mirak are going to start walking up to you guys, too, after we have yeah. a conversation. Okay. My lot does heal, uh, yeah, but I, sure, right? I know the full scope of what it can do yet. I know a few things, a, a trick here, and, well, a divine miracle <laughs> here and there, but nothing really concrete. Light, blessings, you know, and I don't even know how long I can keep the light going mm. overall. Like, I, I, I don't think I can do it as an extended period. Mm. Well, I wonder, <coughs> I wonder how your light could be of use towards these other lights to counterbalance. If it's shadow, I might be able to banish it. If it's darkness, I could probably banish it for a small minute amount of time. But I know how long. I hmm. don't know really how yet. What in the hell are you talking about? What's going on here? Domini. Clearly there are some nefarious things abound. And yeah, could you mind telling them what you told me? About what you saw as well? My past came and whispered in my ear. Mm. Took me off guard. An unresolved past? Oh yeah. And that tracks. And Wesa, what did you experience? Uh... A voice, perhaps that of my father, bring, trying to bring me to my brother. Which is obviously something I think often about and wonder. But I... I will not fall into the trap. I've read about this before. You have? No. <laughs> <laughs> very good. That yeah, was very good. Not very exciting. When you're isolated and you can only see water in all directions, you have no landmarks, no past, no future, just existing in this moment to the point where our past turns inward on ourselves. Unresolved issues. And what is the medicine then? Confrontation. Resolution. I... Coming to terms with the problem. But of these lights that Jason was saying that he could see, is there a difference? And can he keep an eye on the crew for the next He's turned. Nation. He's turned north now. He's out to, out toward the lights. Perhaps if we can see one of these different types of lights before it begins to affect a member of the crew, mm -hmm. or more terrifyingly, one of us again. Are these lights like Katrin, messing with our minds? I don't know. I haven't experienced it. Katrin. Katrin. No. <laughs> She ain't here. She's safe. Yeah, I'm glad that too. She ain't here, so we have to figure it out on her. Oh, she'd be reading something, I'm sure. <sighs> no doubt. Can any of you sense what she senses? Catherine? No. No. Where the books are? <laughs> you can see into the river, can you not, Lisa? You can see into the river. Mm, I'm learning about it. It's a big river. Have you, have you ever looked into it before? I had quite a journey in the hut. To say that is the river um, felt like an introduction. Oh, you must tell me all about this. Mm. Maybe not now, but soon. Yes, definitely. <laughs> In the meantime, I feel that it's important that there's some kind of announcement for the crew, that they're prepared and... I've spoken with the captain, and I just don't want them to become too superstitious. How do you explain and prepare for something that is Body out of the ordinary? <sighs> Seasick. A well, body system? Well, aren't we people of faith? Of course we are. So then, may we all hold our faith strong? Not everybody has the same faith. Whatever that means to them. What is What keeps you anchored in the sea? Nilishi, what alive. would keep you anchored? <laughs> yeah. Me? I. In the sea? I. 
knowing that we were to get to land soon? Great. I'm with her. <laughs> if that's what it is, then let it be. Uh, Albert, of course. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, but I haven't felt none of this, so. Well, as far as it goes for these experiences, I believe that we should partner up. Wasted since you've already had your experience, why don't you stay with Marcus? Merrick, why don't you stay with Nalishli? And I'll keep an eye on both and try to what about you? as much. What help. about you? He's yeah. with you. <laughs> that is a good I'll question. be in between you two. Back I think you should stick with Jason. I have the captain with me as well. Jason so far seems to be the only person who can actually see what's going on up ahead of us. That's the reason why we're on this way now. I but think that's why it's Jason with you. If he can see uh, something around you or near you or attacking you. Yeah, and he can't look at you ahead. Huh? I heard he can't look at you. Too bright. Oh, well, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it either. <laughs> it's normal flesh tones to me, but... Well, let's just time. make sure that we... Working on it. All that time inside. Make sure that we take care of each other. Of course. Great. Sounds like a grand idea. And no one else has felt this yet, right? It's well, just been just those three so far? a half hour ago. So I thought it was seasickness. But after Merrick telling me his story, I knew it was something that was true. Yours might be your sister. My sister, though. <sighs> Marcus's sister. All right, then. My younger one? The one that was left. Ah, yes, that one. My lord, later, when we were dealt with this, I was wondering if we could have a conversation about some things. You're hey. telling me there's more of your family? There's at least one more. I'm sure there's more and more out there, but, you know, we, the way we propagate. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But this one, we, I can't forget this one. This is an important conversation. It's just we don't have time for it now. Understood. Thank you. So let's go watch this Jason miracle. Jason, who's, he's sitting down as the fellowship is kind of gathered around. We're gonna power source him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's he, the center. He looks. He looks a little. He looks sheepishly up at you, and you see on his. You see a blush on his fair skin. I, I never had so many people watching me like this before. We have hope, boy. And you're special. I'm different. I don't know if that qualifies as special. The only one of us who can see this. That Jason, makes you special. Jason, speak for what you need. If you need these ones to go, let me know. Can I stay? Let him do what he needs. Enough. Were you gonna stay with me, Domini? I'll make sure you're all right. But don't you have to mind them? Your I think fellowship. My friends can take care of each other. All right. It may not be anything happening for torches. I'm just watching it. I'm just reading. Just let me know if you see anything more out of the ordinary than already is out of the ordinary. And if you can communicate. You want to learn how to tie ropes? Mm. I. Are you? Oh, I guess that'd be real rude if I asked you. I just, you just don't act like any lord I've, I've ever met before, and I, I have met several. I know this, I'm not complaining. Like, I I've heard most lords are not. Very kind. Yeah, and the ladies can even be more vicious. <coughs> more vicious. They, they tend to have their chairs fall upon them. So. Huh? Don't worry about it. It's a joke. Okay. So he sits down, and the day, uh, the day passes. Uh, those of you who are studying sea craft, get some. Oh, I have Vicinia's journal. Get some instruction <clears throat> hours. Uh, I to talk the copy that I made. You have a you have a a, a not complete copy. Yes, yes. You made, yeah. and uh, I would know Jason doesn't know how to read, right? Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't have the doesn't he have the secret board. Does have an odd way of looking at things, so I'm gonna ask him about that for the codes. That we couldn't break. Did you ever find oh. out what was in those vials? He can't really help you. Okay. No. Yeah, it was like a fresh set of eyes. Maybe it was like sure. a pattern. Yeah, you know, sure. Right? It's like the ones and zeros in the matrix. Oh, so like, no. See it now. <laughs> <laughs> I can I see it. I have a theory. I just want to make sure that it's an actual theory yet. Give it some substance and weight. You have one or two more incidences 
We're taking on water like a sieve. Help me, help me down here. Buddy system. But uh, do you promulgate the buddy system throughout the ship or is that just for the fish? I'll leave that decision up to the captain, but I'll let him know what we did. And then also that this is probably gonna continue to reoccur. And then whenever it does, we just need to make sure that we are addressing it with kindness rather than with like a panicked response. He decides to go in groups of four. Perfect. So there are five groups of four okay. on the ship. Mm, all right. Mm, works. This guy's not messing around. Uh, Love it. Yeah. Captain Drew's Love this guy. Yeah, he's great. good. Yeah. So. You understand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the shadows. <laughs> the shadows are, <laughs> uh, are long in the day as when Jason finally comes up. <sighs> You were allowed to blink. They're... They're dancing now. They noticed us. They noticed me. Mm. Got their attention. Jason. Yeah. Where is everybody when this happens? I'm right next to him. Yeah, you're right next to him. Remember what Lisa like said. I'd like to be nearby. Yeah. Like yeah, to we're be having there. a conversation about theology. Okay, so the fellowship stayed. Learning stayed. to tie a rope nearby. You're, you're, okay, so every, <laughs> all your fellowship stayed yeah. pretty. Yeah. We're just hovering, kind of but not right like, on top of it. Yeah. Remember, you try to let them know, like Wasis said. What should I let them know? We're not here to cause any harm. We come in peace. He he pops up. You're safe. Uh, we're not going to do anything to hurt you. It's, oh shit. <laughs> and, yeah, and I'll turn him behind, you know. What okay. Uh, you feel this pressure build mm. Wow. to a crescendo. It still looks clear as day. And that's when the screaming starts on the ship. <laughs> um, so you, uh, Corey, you feel the deck underneath you begin to soften and you start to sink into the bog. Oh, shit. Randy, you smell Marcus. smoke. You hear... Marcus. And Which way? You're in a, you're in a lot him. smarter. Okay. Okay. Hold uh, me up. You're, Say, Kate. It's all in your mind. It's all in your mind. Uh, you're, smelling, you're smelling the smoke. You're feeling the same presence that you felt before, but on guard and in your space. And as the young priestess that you are, it does not, it is not able to gain purchase, at least not yet. That's right. <laughs> I always forget how awesome she that is. is. <laughs> and, Self-respect. Yeah. And wisdom. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been listening very, I've been listening very closely and you've, you've been making all the correct psychological and exterior moves. Uh, and you hear, uh, as you grab Jason and you hear him start to just keen as these lights seek him out and assault uh, assault his lissom frame no. and just concentrate on him. You, yeah. you still can't see anything. Yeah, I'm just trying to turn. Like, you feel geez. you feel some kind of pressure. Think of a Vanda. Think of. Her. And then you hear uh, a scream. My son, I need you. I need you. I'm falling, catch me. And you look across over Jason and you see your mother losing her balance on the parapet. She flung herself over. I'm still holding on to Jason, I look and just kind of like tear up. And as we get toward our intermission, oh. Who's down for trivia question? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Melissa, our own lovely Melissa, sent this one in to me today, and I love it, so we're going to run with it. So the trivia question for tonight is uh, Katrin's mentor is Figulus Neus. Figulus Neus was married. What year was he married in, or at what age was he married, and to whom? And if you only get one name, uh, the name of his wife has been mentioned on stream. Obviously, exact year has not been. So if you get, if we only have people who get the name of his wife, then and nobody gets both, we will uh, 
we'll go with that. All right. Let's see what happens with our little fellowship, our poor little psychologically traumatized fellowship mm -hmm. in 15 minutes. Thank you so much. We'll see you back. Thanks, guys. Why limit your imagination? In the tabletop role-playing space, customization is everything, especially when it comes to your character. Whether you're a player, a painter, or a master of tales, your character is what matters most. Using high-quality, fully customizable miniatures, you can be built for battle with Eldritch Foundry. Greetings, weary travelers, and welcome to Constructed Chaos, a channel dedicated to all things D&D, including live play streams and podcasts, 3D printing, painting, crafting, homebrew content, and guides for players and dungeon masters alike. Join our Discord for even more special benefits, announcements, and free downloadable content. And until next time, go out there and make some chaos.
Welcome okay. back. <laughs> <laughs> if we could have the candle of tales, my love. Here it comes. The everyone. candle of tales. tales. That was a good one, actually. That was a good one. We nailed it. Is, that, is the lighter struggling? Nailed that shit. Um, you know, it's just, it's that funny thing where like things catch on fire easily when you don't want them to. Not the ship. It's true. Yeah, thank you. Not, the, Not ship. the ship. Not yet. But no more broil in this day. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. So we. <laughs> things are afoot. <laughs> so we had a couple, uh, I, get, I guess these are going to be canon since we, since we had the Candle of Tales. So y'all, during the intermission, well, first off, trivia question. So we already had two people, you guys were on it like piranhas. That was uh, Grim Reefer and Zach both got the answer to it. Nice. Congratulations. So, fresh, fresh. Yeah. At the same time? <laughs> so fresh. Uh, I, I'll have to look, but they're on right. two different, you know, two uh, two different ones, so. Zach is usually on YouTube. Ooh. Or on, uh, on, uh, Twitch. on Twitch. Twitch. Yep. Yeah. yep, yep, yep. Um, Congratulations, guys. And I know they married young. I do not want to misquote my own lore, though, so put that in the, uh, put that on. It was, his wife was Drusa. Um, Drusa. Mm -hmm. Drusa. I had no idea. And she was a potent, potent monobender in her time. I thought he was a scarecrow. So. A serious couple. I mean, he looks easy. Like to, yep, it's easy to <laughs> easy to do. Uh, right. So first time. Guess what we had? First time in Darkport's history. What? We had three. Actually, no, we had four. We had four super chats. Just Aww. Great. Oh wow! Just Woo! Cool. Real cool. So we what had. Does that, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, what is that? It's like a chat, but like, with ooh, yeah, that's it's, <laughs> it's people who were real like us. Let's just say the chat was flying. So <laughs> yeah, so um, HD uh, Siles pitched in ten dollars. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's Thank awesome. You. Thank you. And our own constructed chaos person, Alex. Ooh, Alex. $10. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And Mr. Grim Reefer pitched in twice for $20. Whoa. And Everybody. the first $10 of that is to be spent to get you new dice, Randy. Oh. So, but the curse was broken. The curse has been broken. The curse, the curse, the curse, the curse has been broken, up. and now you can have that, right, because you're going to you're gonna to want to roll like with advantage or whatever at, at oh, uh, various right times. Can, can we focus next then on getting me a, a pair of blessed d20s? Is that what we're doing? Blessed, <laughs> blessed by I don't know, like okay. the Lord of D and D or something. <laughs> I think I yeah. think yeah. we can I think we can work on that. Work on that. You want to put that <laughs> yeah. out there? Yeah, right. like okay. That's hilarious. Well, thank you for yeah, we've done this. Thank one. you. Uh, next. Uh, yeah, so thanks so much, y'all. Yeah, Thank you, I really sweet. appreciate that. That's, that's yeah. awesome. It's been a lot of hard work to get to the point where we can do that. We have enough little subscribers and enough faraway friends, enough watch hours, all that good stuff. So now here, here we are. Here we are. And we've been going since September. It's a big deal. Thank you. Um, we appreciate the support. I do. Ellie, yeah. if you want to, uh, you should work up like an official appeal, and then you should make your you should make an official appeal at the beginning of next session. I think that'd okay. be I think that'd be great. <laughs> okay, like, like, like you, can you, you can even do it in character if you want. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> like a like a VC pitch, but in character. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that'd be fun. Like, 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 VC fans yeah, out there. Oh my God, listen to me. <laughs> that'll, that'll be that'll be a lot. Of, that'll be a lot of fun. That'd be great. And it's Olympic odds. I I wanted to give our our stream shout out. Before uh, before we lost before we lost such luminaries like Grim Reefer, to our sister stream Constructed Chaos. Um, oh yeah. So Alex, I love that you're watching us and that you've been so supportive. We had a great meeting the other day um, between uh, Alex and the founders. Uh, really great energy over at that table. A lot of fun. Uh, a lot of shenanigans. It was a blast to watch. A really good, yeah, yeah. yeah it was no, really it was fun seeing you being in a different element. It's rather. a, it's a, di it's a different element. I bring up the dead parent thing. Tried to. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see when you're a little bit more fun. All right, okay. <laughs> tried to write. <laughs> yeah, no, there's there there's definitely a different energy. This is this is dark fantasy, also. Oh, yeah. the, the vibe at this table is different. I I just got a dark port. I'm an idiot. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. Dark fantasy. Yeah, in dark fantasy. Can't believe it. Just... <laughs> Here we are, Dottie. Look at that. Here, here we are. <laughs> so, um, thank you, Alex, for being, and also, honestly, for being a mentor on this journey as well, because I learned uh, a lot while I was out there, and I continue to appreciate that, and we continue to benefit from it. All right, we are back with our, we are back with our falling mother. On floor of the cuckoo's nest. Go are on. you doing? Are you doing anything? Or are you stealing your heart as your mother begins to lose her balance? Uh, I'll be holding a Vander or uh, Jason, and like after I say, like look towards a Vander when her asking for help a bit. You didn't slip. You died with him. Think of think of Vanda. You know, and just kind of like go back to okay. it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna resolve all of these at the same time, so something happens there. But well, but we'll wait for that. Okay. You're sinking. You can feel, even though you can, you're not so far gone that you can't feel Malishly's arm, that you can't feel her grasp, and you're clasped forearm to forearm. Um, but you can feel the bog beginning to go into your mouth. You know your pursuers are there. You can smell it. You feel the fear coursing through your veins. What do you do? Ooh, I um, think of Jasmine. Think of Titus in the city and use that as my anchor to, as I've done all my life to provide resilience to to pull myself out of the situation and I will yank very hard on malicious as as if I'm actually pulling myself out very similar to the day that I did that when the dogs were hunting me down okay okay yeah uh, I will also try to process try to blank this out like like can I resist it is there is it something that I feel that I could push back on uh, mentally? Potentially, but you have to tell me what you're doing. So are you trying? So you're you're envisioning all those things, and you're trying to. Are you trying to push it out? Are you trying to ignore it? What do you? How are you approaching that, Corey? I am trying to. Exit. Yeah, I I am trying to to literally push it out of my head, not ignore it, but re, but push it out. Like I I don't believe this is this is happening. Yeah, focusing on the good. Okay. All right. Nice. That's okay. That's happening. That's. 
not necessarily easy, but it's pretty straightforward. Marcus, you glance down. You glance down at yourself. Um, you are uh, a teenager again, a young teen. Mm -hmm. Again, it's happening again. The smell of spoke, the screaming, um, the urge as you throw the hut door open, even though your father has forbidden you to go outside while this is going on, but you can hear him getting assaulted by those things, and surely he's going to get torn to shreds. Your, your tough-ass, scary father, surely, though, is still going to get torn to shreds. Am I bodily there? Like You don't know. Okay. Do I know the ways is still near me? I was going to say no, because it's running hard on you. Um, but And Jason's the only one who can actually see how it divvied up its energy. But uh, because Wesa is so much in herself, mm -hmm. she's actually just still sitting there physically. So even though she doesn't really make sense in the moment, mm -hmm. she's like half in and half out of the hut wall, which bisects her. <laughs> like a weird glitch in a, in a right. video game. You're sharing a lord. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to reach over and touch, put my hand on Wesa's shoulder. Do I recognize who she is? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to put my hand on her shoulder. And I'm going to look out the window. And like, my sister is within Thorn's care. You cannot harm me. He's not but shadows. And the Lord of Light banishes shadows. Okay. Wait, so what do you do? As you feel Marcus's strong calloused hand on your shoulder. You do not know what, what struggles he is undergoing right now, but you hear his words clearly. Hmm. <clears throat> I stay steady and my my vision though is at Jason I, I, I'm holding strong I know he needs something to hold on to and I'm believing that he has enough with Quaylathon. okay and uh, but I'm sending my attention to Jason okay um Nilishly, is there anything else you want to do before I resolve this I think if I'm seeing him like sink, in, like is he? He's it's just in his mind. He's like it's, it's all in his stressed. right. All look, like I'm kneeling down. Yeah, on he purpose. started to kneel. Right, he st yeah. he started to squat down until he grabbed you and then, and then jerked on you. And it's good. It's rare that you feel like Merrick's full power, on you, and even when you're so much <laughs> bigger than him, you can feel what people talk about, where there's just that preternatural strength running through his little, his relatively, you're not little, but like relatively little body, little bit of you know, and you're like, damn, that is, that is, I mean, he's stronger than you are. Mm. So what do you, mm. yeah. It might be squeezing her wrist a little too hard. You know? yeah. She's, I, no, she's, she's, resilient, she's super resilient too, so yeah. Um, I'm going to get on my knees too, right in front of him. Okay. And I'm going to um, kind of put my, my hands around his head and keep whispering, Merrick, it's all in your head. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. Okay. You hear this woman's voice, which was not not part of that era, not part of that event at all, which does actually kind of, in a crude way, it kind of works almost like water across the face, where it starts to destroy the very similar to the moment. Grandmother, <clears throat> you haven't left me? And he stares at you. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, it went weak sauce on you. You're not actually gonna have. Mm, I don't know, but that with that nice eight wisdom, yeah, I, I still want you to roll. So with advantage, uh, make a wisdom save. Everybody's gonna roll at once. So hold on, with advantage, make a wisdom save for you, Titus. <clears throat> um, Merrick, you're right on the edge, but I'm still gonna give you advantage on that wisdom save. Bas essentially, because Nalishly's uh, assisting, you feel you feel yourself tried to scat. You scattered your intent too far. You tried too many different things simultaneously, yeah. and you can feel this power, this whatever it is, warming its way in between. Not, not really your, not really the chinks in your mind, but just the gaps of your attention. Right. Mm. Just having to multitask on so many things at the same time. But because her voice is right there, even if you don't recognize her voice per se right now, you know that there were no women there at that moment. So you know this can't be right. Real, right. Um, 
this is unprecedented at this table without some crazy thing, but Randy, I find it so unlikely that your character's faith would break in the face of that whole scenario. I'm actually going to give you a uh, deep or extreme advantage, so roll three die, uh, three die 20. So, uh, wisdom <coughs> check, so you th- y'all, y'all three go ahead and roll. The three men at the table, go ahead and roll. Oh my goodness. I got a seven. With okay. advantage. I rolled an 18. I'm not sure what that equates to. With uh, wisdom? And then add your wisdom, and you should be proficient oh, in that 22. as well. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, 26, uh, yeah. 24. 24, yeah. okay. So for you, you just, when you say, and Quailathon banishes shadow, almost, almost immediately it starts to fade and dissolve around you, and you feel whatever pressure it is. You feel the presence of, you feel the presence of what you understand to be the Lord of Light, and it's gone. Nice. <clears throat> Uh, 19 total. 19, Corey? Three, yeah. Okay. Uh, you roll again, I can spend something. You don't have such a, you don't have such a pristine uh, affair as Marcus does, but you just keep following what proves to be Nalishli's voice. You keep following the voice, and you know that it's not, uh, and it, it, it sees you through, and you kind of slowly emerge from the muck as it dissipates. There, there are no, uh, there's no Basrit, there's no slaver, there's no torture, it's gone. You're shaken, you're rocked, you, even even with the seven, Donnie? I think that I would break and kind of draw my attention and be like, I killed you. Mm. I was the one who made you feel again. It took away what made you feel numb. She was starting to dissolve. And now she starts yeah. reintegrating. I'm like, you jumped. I know you did. Um, meanwhile, part of you is still holding on to Jason. Yeah. It's you're, just like a... you're watching him. Yeah. yeah. And But you see his eyes bug out. He hasn't abandoned Jason, but you see the eyes start to bug. I good, would, let's go. I would grab yeah, Marcus's hand and just go to Jason. Long okay. strides. Okay, yeah, you're right there. Yeah. And... Um, and Jason's like So okay. Everybody knows what's 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 going on. Yeah No, 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 get out of me! Get off of I me! Pity you. As I'm just having a conversation yeah. with a ghost of my mother, and just this guy's he, weak he, as shit. <laughs> he uh he balls up his fist, and when he strikes you in the ribs, it actually kinda helps grind you. Uh Make another, uh, make another check. Uh, that is twelve. Okay, so he doesn't. He's not able to. <laughs> yeah, it's rating. Uh, yeah. He's not able to really hurt you, Donnie. Um, maybe like a point of subdu- subdual damage or something. Mm. But then he starts really fighting you. Wow. And he starts trying to shove you. He While I'm holding him, and I'm seeing that. Am I still seeing him? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. You can feel him, although he's he's faded a little bit because you you your attention you started feeding into this thing, and your attention lapsed because you know Titus, Titus is uh, has the heart of a lion, mm. but he is he is quite emotional and it's easy yeah. to. Then I'm going to grab him and just kind of like bear hug him and not like hurt him, but just like stop him from swinging his arms and feet and stuff like that. Okay. I'm like. You, since you are right there, um, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, so wait, so you don't have to, you're fully focused on him. You can feel this thing running him through about three different hideous traumas at the same time. Uh. Like you can feel it, you, you know it. You can't necessarily feel the light, but you know, you can smell the sweat coming, the fear sweat coming off of his body. You can see the, you can see the trembling. You can see him trying to, uh, trying to gouge into the into the eyes of his attacker and failing. Do I get the sense that he is in more danger than anyone else because of his sensitivity? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Is there a way for me to? Um, gosh, well, I have a choice here. I'm wondering, like, is it? Am I able to connect with him? Like, what I do when pe- someone's bleeding out? <laughs> you could try. You've never done that before. You know the risks that come with that. That's some serious stuff. Well, I would go and say to Marcus, you're light. I have an idea. 
I'm going to get in front of him. Is he, you're holding him, right? Yeah. Okay. He tries to bite you. Um, make a, you're so much bigger than him uh, with advantage. Make a uh, athletics roll. Have I broken out of it to where I would be aware you're, of what's going you're, on? you're you're not happy, but you're you're back. Yeah. I think the dice curses came on me, but Honestly, that's still a twelve. And I this way. <clears throat> I, I moved to, to to basically assist. Okay. Um yeah. Titus and in, in a more of a Thank bear you. hug restraining. Maybe we'll yeah. we'll do a sandwich with yeah. with poor Jason in the center. Group hug. You said twelve? Yes. Okay. He actually he actually was just about to squirm, uh, and he's like flailing, slapping on you. He, he's he, he's like he's like a drowning a drowning boy fighting for his life, mm. um, and he's just he's terrified of who he thinks you are, and he grabs at whatever weapon you have on your side and was and was about to yank. You grab. Go ahead and make another. Um, yeah. I only have a great sword on my back. Make it. But I'd make another I'm roll sure for a dagger. General. Yeah, uh, athletics. Athletics. And yeah, initially, go go ahead and roll too, because you're you're in there. Yeah. And then Incre- uh, I mean, unless you get incredibly unlucky, the, between the three of you, you're gonna have a uh, seventeen. Strike. Seventeen. Yeah. Eight. Okay. Um, you're like this this <laughs> wild lucky. this, this <laughs> wild cat is going around. So you're like uh, about about the only thing that you manage is to see him clawing at. Uh, do you, does your character not have a dagger? No, I'm mean, probably here. I just have my sword on my back. Okay. Oh, you okay. know what? No, I would have a dagger. You decide, I mean, you can decide that. But yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay, so you uh, you stop him cold. The only thing that you're focused on, the only dangerous thing you see is as his little hand tries to get to Titus's dagger on his belt. So you just, that's basically what you focus on. Okay. Um, and so he's thrashing around. Okay. What do you just... What are you doing? What are y'all doing? Well, I kneel in front of him if he's being held. I'm gonna put my hands on either side of his face. Well, he's his face is toward is into on oh, the back of his head. Whatever. Back of his head. Mm. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be Lord of Light. Banish the shadows within this man's mind. Protect us as you protected us on the wall that one night. I ask you, as your humble servant, please help us help him. And I'm gonna try to cast bless again. Okay. Um, roll, 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 ah, fuck, I had a five. Five, okay. You can feel the power trying to well up. Importantly, it's actually a little easier out here huh. than in the city. Mm. Um, and you might even be able to try again, but it's, uh, it's blocked, he's thrashing. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say eventually, I'll give you one more roll. Before I before I move the scene forward, these are six second rounds, so this is a lot. This feels like an eighteen that time. Eighteen, awesome. Hey. Okay. So about ten seconds into this horrible, which doesn't sound like long, is a long time, guys. In a situation like this, though, where somebody that you care about um, is just out of their absolutely out of their mind, it's like a seizure moment. Here. Yeah, kind of, I mean, just kind of, yeah. Um, finally, <sighs> you feel it flare up, and you can see. Very different from uh, Izel, f- 400 winters back, which where his was precise and measured. Mm. This is still uh, with that desperation, but it flare. The gold flares up in your hands. You put it to either side of his head. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> it goes in. Uh, either Marcus or Wesa make uh, make a roll and then add a die four to it. All right. Add a die four to die it. Die four to it, yes. Which is a triangle. Which is the triangle. It's right the pyramid. Not one you use too often. 17, three. Nice, okay, dirty 20. Nice. Uh, oh. You oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking nice, man, every time. Like, that's only like you get to roll. It really does. Yeah. It, was a, it was a gift of love. <laughs> it's from friendship. The light <laughs> soaks into his, uh, soaks into his frame, and I was essentially having you roll uh, his, saving, his saving throw. Aww. And I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not there. I'm here. I'm on a ship. You're with friends. I'm on a ship. Just kind of muffled. I'm on a ship. Mm. I'm on a ship. I'm not there. I'm not in a cage. You will never be in a cage. Or a bed. Mm. Am I seeing anything still? Or am I only hearing him? Uh, you, 
your creature or your interaction didn't really seem to have the juice okay. to do much more. Yeah. It kind of took its shot, but you resisted it initially. Okay, then I'm going to, after hearing him do that, I want to get away from the bear hug and put it in and be like, you're, you're safe. And he just starts sobbing. Mm. Oh. Yeah, and then it'll be more of an embrace rather than a bear hug. Like, you're all right. We'll keep you safe. Your mother dissipates with the wind once uh, once the golden light enters the fray. I like God. Thank you, Nilishla. Your voice helped me. We have to protect the others. Why? There's what others did you see? The same things right now. I was back at the bog, sinking. <laughs> so now, unfortunately, now it did concentrate quite a bit on the forecastle, but like a wave that got sucked in here, it has now enveloped the rest of the ship. And you see, as this, as this essentially psychic attack breaks onto the ship. You see men screaming. You see some of them desperately clawing uh, at their faces. You see others trying to furiously cut rope. Um, one is climbing One is climbing up to the crow's nest, uh, screaming uh, screaming about, the bugs, the bugs. Any any critical, like, they're tearing down the sail or something, I will, I, so I'll be like, yep. Yep, nope, this is Merrick, so <laughs> yeah. this is what you're going to do. Okay, you just, you, you kind of, you scan through the chaos, um, make an investigation roll or a perception roll in that moment to, for you to try to get that. Mm, that will only be a perception 14. 14, high enough, just high, just high enough. Um, yeah, you see somebody trying to uh, dismember the jib. Uh, I, I dash over. I don't like the cut of that jib. <laughs> no, it oh, does, no, he does not like the cut of that jib. Well, and uh, and there's several. I mean, there are people who are about to jump ship. There are uh, entirely a Jason. I'm sorry, but they need your help. And they need mine. And then a big. All right, go. He's buddy. System. He's up. absolutely drenched in sweat now. Um, you're going to have to carry him if you want him to move. Uh, I'll move him back and put him in a more secure place, like away from any part of the dock mm-hmm. or any part of the edge of the ship. Okay. It's like, wait here. And then run out and try to help. Waysa, are you going to try to exhort Jason back onto his feet, or are you going to leave him be? You're the only person. I feel person. like he shouldn't be alone. Yeah. Waysa, my... stay with him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to... getting to subdue and, like, tie I'm up gonna... everybody else. <laughs> can I... <laughs> can I help people, like, heal quicker if I connect with their energy a bit? Like, can I help restore them? You don't know. Well, maybe I'll try. I will say, every time you invoke that deepest heart magic, it's dangerous. All right, fine, I won't. <laughs> but <laughs> the, I just, I, I do want to be able to also help others, but I feel like he just went through something so big, and oh. he's trying to help us so much, so I just want to, like, stay with him and help him maybe regulate a little bit. Okay. Um, all right, so you're, you're there. Um, with this weak, weak smile. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. And he he grabs your arm and uses you to. Um, he's only an inch, because uh, you're five three. I think, yeah, I think five, so. Five three, so he's two inches taller than you. Okay, um, he's five five. So he he grabs your arm and l- levers himself up, and then does what heroes do, where he shakes his head and puts that behind him and starts to try to with. With two levels of exhaustion, starts to try to mm. uh, uh, starts to try to help. So he's at least not going to be a drag. So I'm assuming the three of you are acting as a unit. Mm-hmm. Then okay. Yeah, we're my head, my biggest, brawlers. Yeah, and we will. We will, we will. <laughs> my brawler, the brawling side of the table. That's yeah. so true. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. Mind them, they're on the ship. Yeah, as we're just like holding it. Yeah, <laughs> submissions it seems best, my lord. How? Okay, I know you're going to incapacitate home dude on the jib. Because uh, that's you don't need the ship crippled, and you do not have. Of the many things you brought with you, I'm not going to say you couldn't repair a sail out here, but you don't want to deal with trying to repair a sail out here. Um, so that would be the greatest danger. You hear uh, fighting going on below decks, and uh, you hear that you do hear uh, Captain Drusus, who seems to still have sanity in his voice. Hold the line, men! Do not let them get to the Arbo! Do not let them get to the Arbo bladders! 
around that direction. Okay. Yeah. I run in the direction of the sail, I think. Okay, the sail. So you're helping You're helping Merrick. You two make a quick athletics roll as you're grappling with the crazed crew members. Um, Titus, you're... Oh my god, are we doing this again? Really? One. Do you not count that high? <laughs> no, please. 21. <laughs> 21. 21. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a five. Okay, you're work. You're working as a team. The jib. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, you get tripped. You get tangled up with the thrashing crew member. You almost go down, uh, and you have a moment where you have to secure Winter's Harvest because you don't want to accidentally kill somebody yeah. as it as it swings around. That weapon, Ellie. It seems to be taking full advantage of, of the chaos. Mm-hmm. It's swinging around and like it's all, almost like it's giving itself a little bit of extra momentum as Ooh, it's swinging on your sassy. back. Oh, <laughs> sassy. This thing's a bit of a dick. Uh, <laughs> so, but uh, Merrick, you kick the legs out from the crew member and uh, swiftly overpower him. And then, yeah, yeah, swiftly overpower him. Uh, and at one point, no. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't that low. So you do keep control of Winter's Harvest. I was gonna say it might nick somebody, but it's you're aware of the weapon. You have good weapon control. Yeah. Um, you're quite aware of that. Okay, you're you're running down, mm-hmm. and you see about a about a a, a four a four on four brawl okay. going on right now, with the captain uh, the captain and the second mate, and then some men are freaking out. Do you remember the guy who tried? Um, the older, I actually did describe him, but he was the older gentleman who tried to come on with the leftist terrier um, mm-hmm. last set, or last continu- in continuity session. Mm-hmm. So you see, uh, you see him. You remember his name is Milo, <laughs> and um, okay. Milo. <laughs> Milo had the had the leftist terrier. Yeah, and um, he's saying, "I gotta help Tibbs. I gotta help Tibbs." Okay. and you see Tibbs. <laughs> Just scratching his leg. You, you see Tibbs running because somebody somebody was bad and snuck Tibbs Ooh. on board. So you see Tibbs, the leftist terrier, uh, running around. Tibbs seems unaffected. Ruff, 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 ruff. His heart is pure. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's running, and he's he's actually trying to uh, grab the cuff of his owner and pull him away. Mm. Um, Tibbs, I gotta save you, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to uh, take off my sword, but still sheathed. Where do you have uh, uh, like Kirkus's axe? Did you drop that somewhere? I put okay. I put it somewhere away that he would like behind where he was touching. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't have okay. it on me. All right, cool. Yeah, sure. so I just have a, a blunted weapon, so I don't hurt anyone. And then uh, yeah, just trying to grab and move them out of the way and be like, if you think you know fear, you do not know me. Yeah, and it's like anything <laughs> to try break them out and just screaming them down to bring them back to reality. Okay, uh, make a intimidation roll. Uh, that is ten. Okay, um, their eyes bug out. Uh, one of them, one of them grabs uh, one of the. You know, let me see if he can reach it. So uh, uh, essentially, the captain was protecting a stash of the. Of yeah, the oil. I'm trying to get in between you know, yeah. the captain and like help. Push this them. guy tried to snap, tried to lunge through to grab one of the arpo bladders and and fling it at you, but um, uh, but the second mate stiff arms him. Ugh! So yep. he can't quite reach. Um, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get in there because they're not. Listening oh yeah, to yeah. You. I'm going in. All right. Um, uh, make an athletics roll. And then, because I'm gonna make just twelve. We're gonna we're gonna resolve this pretty quickly. This sucks, <laughs> uh, Thanks. The A other lot, Randy, uh, for giving me your. The luck. other four. The other four players. Go <laughs> ahead and just roll for each one of those. Each one of the crew who are like to make who are brawling. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. I got a nat one. <laughs> the natural twenty, though. 13. Okay, those kind of cancel each other out. The law of averages. Seventeen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. So it is this chaotic, tangled mess as man slams into man. Uh, the captain, at one point, uh, with a nat one, he, he manages to get uh, uh, to catch a headbutt, uh, a reverse headbutt in the mouth, and blood starts coming out. Yikes. But but with your with your added weight and strength. You manage to beat them back uh, finally, and it's reminding me of the tower. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come at me! Yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, the second mate snatches Tibbs up, and no, Tibbs, you bastard! And the second mate runs, starts running away with this kicking and thrashing. Bo- or, sorry, leftist terrier. Yes. Uh, and at least two of the crewmen run after Tibbs. 
Okay, so v Vibius isn't experiencing the fear he's trying to save. No, us. apparently, apparently he still ha has his whips wits about him. Okay, okay, that's why yeah. I want to make sure that I see. Yeah, apparently he, he has doesn't. No, he, he has he, the tips about him. He he has the t he has the terrier, yeah. and since there are two two of them seem to be obsessed with the dog, mm -hmm. he's running around, which takes two of them out of the fray and only one of the defenders out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, good. Okay, so good thinking. <laughs> there's more. They always go for the dog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you I wanted... have a curiosity. Yes, ma'am. Because I'm wondering if my prayer did anything to my room. Do you make your way down to your room? I want to quickly dash down there with Jason. Okay. Okay. Um, uh. You you run down the stairs. You see this melee going on with uh, eight, nine men shoving, slamming, grappling with each other, trying to get, you know, although it looks like the defenders are gonna carry the day, as eventually, with enough shoving and pushing, um, the men who are knocked on their knocked on their backsides kind of seem to come to their senses. Uh, your room appears untouched. Do I sense that my prayer has protected any, like, because my prayer was the only benevolence in the space. Uh, you don't know. But you know that the room the room seems has remained inviolate. Is there an, a wild man nearby losing his mind? <laughs> I mean, you're full of you're you're on a ship full of them, yeah. Okay. Um Someone I'm gonna move. ask Nalishly if she'll help me grab someone losing it and see if, if I throw them in the room if it changes anything. Okay. Uh Lishly, you're already down there. So. I'm already in the same area. Um, wait. Oh no, you were. No, you, sorry, you were yeah, upstairs. Were you, you were upstairs, so she's not there. So she can walk. If she yeah, yelled, I want to go. Well, yeah, if you're behind you me, you can yell at me, and I'd be like, okay, "How many do you need?" Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I could just group, you know, bear, like bear hug somebody. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're kind of you're kind of running back and forth for once in his for once in his little in his little dasher life. Uh, uh, Jason's panting to to keep up with you. All right. Uh, Nalishly, you have a choice to make. The two of you do, but you're closer. You see one of the men has gotten himself up on the rails, and he's about to swan dive uh, into the water. Mm. And he's screaming about, um, he's been, he was repulsed by uh, whoever the defender was for the crow's nest, so he wasn't able to get up there. And in a fit of desperation, the bugs! So he's climbing up. Are you willing to break from the jib to grab him around the waist and pull him back. And what's the other choice? Or are you just going to stay stalwart and continue to defend this infrastructure of the ship? Uh, Merrick's dealing with the sail, he, so, so far, it's under control. In, in, in this combat round, yes. And the, in, the next immediate threat, uh, Titus is dealing with the Arpo downstairs, yep. then yes, I'm going to... Okay, all right. If I feel that there's other people on the most important... I mean, there you there's there's... You know mayhem and disorder going on, but you don't see anything. You don't see anybody like strangling somebody else to death okay. in this moment. Yeah, then so. I'm I am gonna go. Okay, you run over there. Grab this guy. Uh, make an athletics roll. Yeah, who's poisoned in the water? <laughs> you got this. You're so strong. I'm so strong. Did you so have the chicken of the fish I'm for so lunch? So lucky. Yeah, athletic. Yeah, yeah, I got a um, eighteen. Yay! 18. Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you go over there. Uh, that's good because you needed a seventeen. So, yeah. So he, he fights. He fights yeah. you, and he's trying. To, he tries to 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 uh, jerk out of your out of your grasp, but you cinch him around the waist and just and manage to uh, bodily pick him up and drive him off of the thing mm. as he's kicking. Mm. He's, he's the slam, guy thrashing around the bugs. The bugs. There are no bugs. It is all in your mind. Still your breath. Literally, bring that man to me. I'm gonna like. Okay. All right. So he's kicking. You have him. You have him off his feet though now, and he's shorter than you, so there's no leverage for oh. him. Yeah, it's like a toddler and, having a tantrum with Nalishly picking up this guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. Uh, so you're 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 running so down. Bugs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you roll again. Uh, yeah, you have him under control. So as, at least for the moment. So you you kind of have to struggle. I mean, you're generally you're generally f physically adept. So getting getting down getting down the um, the uh, the ladder the um, angled ladder was what I was worried about, but you make it down. Uh, okay, the defenders have pretty much asserted themselves, and now you just see there, there are two guys left who are who have that wild-eyed, you know, desperation to them that the defenders are dealing with down around the ARPA bladders. You're carrying your 
uh, your swan dive attempt in your arms, you open the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the hatch. The hatch. Oh, there you go. See, now you're well, now I'm you're on it. Hugs you're getting all now you're on it. Now you're getting all formally shippy. Uh, what do you do with this guy? See if she's in ship here. No, I do with this guy. Yeah. Uh, and she's in the hatch below the hatch. Yeah, she just opened the hatch I mean, to the door the, to the quarters. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I just say toss him in here. Let's see what happens. What do you mean toss him in here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like throw him in the hammock or something. You know, like. He, okay. What is she on about? Yeah. <laughs> he, he tries to throw an elbow back, but you just you're, you just keep flinging him from side to side, so okay. he, he doesn't get doesn't get a good shot in. Uh, I think I'm gonna just walk him in instead of throw okay. him in there. Um, okay. Walk him in and idea. then yeah. lay him down on one of the free cots. Do I see? Is there like a blanket or a rope I could tuck around him? Probably so. Uh, roll Taco a rules. saving throw for yeah. him. What's that? A what? Uh, may, roll roll for him. Six. Six. Okay. He's still thrashing. There's like a moment where he kind of pauses, like he's assessing the situation. More bugs! And then st- and then starts thrashing. Eventually, though, you do get him into the bed that she was in, and you you manage to wrap him in the blank. Between okay. the two of you, you can okay. pretty effectively. So maybe a little something, but it maybe a little, but nothing. But it didn't. It didn't seem. It didn't. Concrete. It didn't seem to help this guy. Okay. Um, I just wanted to know. Didn't outright cancel it. Yeah. I just wanted to know. There was a moment where he, it looked like sanity might return to his face. Uh-huh. And then more bugs. More bugs. Got it. And about that time, as things are settling, Merrick, you feel, uh, now you're not, you're not savvy to the ways of the sea, although technically this is the lake, but essentially it's a freshwater sea. Uh, but it's a little surprising to you that you feel little drops of rain are starting to pelt you. And basically out of nowhere, the sky has is beginning to rip and darken. There's a crack of thunder. The wind kicks up out of uh, essentially I nothing. I myself off to, I mean, I, I immediately like hook myself onto Okay. Something at least. I'm gonna say you have like the ten. I'll say you have ten up and ten down. Ten, uh, ten of the crew up and ten of the crew down. What have I learned so far over the days in terms of like what the I mean, like what the minimum like people is to steer the damn thing or at least keep it afloat? You you don't have a good sense yet, but you know that twenty is pretty low. You know that the full if this thing was crewed completely, you would have seventy. You'd have. Um, 30 sailors and uh, 170 rowers. So this is, right now you're just a sailing vessel. So you're short <clears throat> even on just the do sailors. I, do, I, do I, have the sails been drawn down? No. No. Do I know that at least that's what? That's, Captain! That's probably a good idea. I'll, I'll just do it anyways. Okay. Um, Draw the sails down! Storm are here! <laughs> you try to remember, you try to remember what, the, uh, what they did. You're gonna need to make two rolls. Make an intelligence, uh, Make an intelligence check and then a dex a dex save after that. All right, I might need to be inspired here. We'll, we'll see what how it works here. Let's do it. You're smart. Ooh, a two. No, no. <laughs> no. You're right. What is it for? Uh, no intelligence. Be fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, you call up exactly what the procedures were um, to furl and unfurl the sails, and you start trying to. It's, you're not gonna be able to do it by yourself, not in time. Um, Is there a guy near me that I want to try to grab some of the people who seem to be returning to returning to the world? Yeah, if I know the names, and I'll be like, man, help me! Okay, sails down. Uh, make a persuasion check. Come on, give me a twenty for once. Well, that's not bad. You already did that. Uh, persuasion. Be thirteen. Thirteen. Selfish. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Okay, you get you. Probably get like two. You probably get two of the stronger-minded ones who recover, who recover the, like, oh, shit, the yeah. fastest. And yeah. they're like, <gasps> um, they look around. Where the fuck did that come from? As as all of a sudden you're. I don't know, but we gotta get the sails down. We're in a squall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now go ahead and make the decks. Now you have enough hands. You can make reasonably make the deck save. Ooh, I will use my inspiration. Okay. I'll work it off here in a second. Yep. Oh, much better. Uh, that's a seventeen. Good. Yeah. Okay, man, you guys are you guys are fighting, 
you're fighting hard. This this could go sideways so easily, but uh, you get the um, you get the sails uh, you get the sails secured. You start metaphorically and literally battening down the hatches, getting ready for this thing to hit you. Uh, and without rowers, without rowers, you're essentially going to be at the mercy of of the storm. Yeah. There's really nothing. You've you've done what you can do. You've you've prevented the ship from capsizing, from getting smashed, and now we're just floating a bunch thing, of you drowning. Just riding it, yeah. however it goes. But it's not rudderless. But, but it's gonna, it, going, it's going to be where it pushes us. Right. Um, you're not exactly. Yeah. You're not exactly rudderless. It, um, yeah. We'll make some rolls here in a second, but it's it's not great. So, as the crew miraculously, I don't think. Yeah, I actually don't think any of the crew uh, died. No way. Well, that. We uh-uh. got. The, the, I mean, well, well, and also bear in mind, I was counting the fact some of them just would have died no matter what you did if you had if this had come out of nowhere, and they'd started jumping overboard and they weren't they weren't in fours and all of that. People were, you know, very much, much. There was other restraining going on at at points. Yeah, Yeah. Um, and you just intuitively know. I'll just give give this to you, Randy, that your your theory was essentially correct. There's some nuances there. But there was just a, a general sense of who was more likely to flip mm-hmm. their lid. And so once they kind of instinctually understood that, they could start watching them more carefully. And there, there are a few like the captain and the second mate who never lost their mm-hmm. senses oh, yeah. through, the whole, through the whole thing. They know exactly who they are and what they're doing here. Okay. Like us. Like, like us. Yep. <laughs> there are a few. Yep. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the non. The fearful, yeah. And... Uh, as you have the highest passive ways, so, so passive perception, uh, there's a moment where you glance out, because the two of you are now back in your quarters, uh, in your temporary quarters, where you glance out uh, of the porthole. You see a figure out there. Where's out there? (laughs) More specific. On the open, churning, violent. Uh, (laughs) You see her rising. (gasps) Stop. Yes, definitely. This bitch. You see her (laughs) uh, bare breasted, scaled, shimmering. Oh, Serenita. Rearing up out of the waters. Is is she a siren? And you see, um, <laughs> well, you all, all you can see right now yeah. is is Wace is captivated and staring out. Do you want to, you want to look? Ooh, Ooh, so I'm just seeing that she's captivated and staring out. And and staring out, and as you're watching, this thing unfurls her wings. Oh man. Her leathery wings. Shit. <laughs> Shit. No, no. You love this. Uh, no. <laughs> and oh, more water just sprays sprays in. Uh, it, it, we need uh, it, sla- uh, it slaps you. And those slitted, unearthly eyes uh, capture yours. <gasps> Make a wisdom save. Wisdom dun, dun, save! Dun, dun. Ah! Oh no. Oh. Oh no, um, no, 13. 13 total? Okay. So, <laughs> Katrin, or it was Katrin, see, you got me. Oh, where is she? Where is she? Uh, oh, now, a friend. you weren't sure, because at, at Wesa looked like she was assessing a threat, um, but then all of a sudden she she stiffens. Ooh, like, and, and do I you sense an that there's uh, an expression on mm-hmm. her face or like somebody, for lack of better words, someone in the building? It reminds you of when someone grabs the kitten by the back of the neck uh-huh. and they seize up. Ooh. That's what it reminds you of. Ooh. Meow. Now remember, you're still the only one who actually saw this figure because Wesa, Wesa was the only one who spotted her. Am I, the, ship's ro- the ship's rocking from side to side and uh, the captain and the second mate look at each other. This is below, below, below decks, obviously mm-hmm. not not where yeah. the two <clears throat> women are at right now. Below decks, and they they kind of they kind of nod, uh, they kind of nod. The uh, uh, Vibius looks at you, Dominic. This is no this this isn't this isn't natural. The winds keep shifting, shifting like crazy. And the captain says, maybe they maybe they just do this here. Oh, gods, we're going to be in the fucking irons. Nothing though. about today's been natural. Yeah, and then it'll start like going up to see where they're at. Okay. 
Uh, I heard, anyone else hurricanes? secure them to the yeah. this world? I would just say or what version of that? I was curious if they would even. You know that you could. You know that there are some terrible storms. Yeah. So far, Germentum in its blessed spot has not been hit by a hurricane. You, there have been even in the even in the campaign that we've played out. There have been some pretty. There's was oh, like yeah. one really strong oh, storm. Yeah. I remember that one. Um, <laughs> Can I yeah. when when Wes is in like lo, like locking Lockdown. or something? I I'm at this point like I'm like probably not going to fuck around and find out with like some kind of <laughs> new divine energy but um, can I can I like uh, kind of shake Wesa and see if she responds to physical stimulus sure what do you what do you exactly what do you do uh, I'm going to like without making eye contact with anything over there I'm just going to put my my arms on either You're not gonna side stick of your face into the portal and see what it was what's that <laughs> <laughs> okay. you took it out there huh? okay it's like some other, uh, that, uh, yeah I'm like, just going to like shake her from either side and say Wesa Wesa what is it that you see uh you you can make another another save wisdom yeah Shit. wisdom uh, fifteen. Okay, she's still, she's still locked up. You, you see, you, you think somebody's home because uh-huh. you see her eyes dart for yeah. a moment, and then they get, and then they glaze over again. Ooh, um, can I, can I push her to sit down on the bed behind her? Like, like, am, am I able to physically move I, her? I th- yeah, yeah, you, you could, you could. It's stiff. I mean, it's 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 like she's resisting you yeah, the whole totally. time. Yeah, okay. totally. But but finally, when you I'm gonna get her out of get eyesight of okay. this whatever she is looking at. You can close. You there's <coughs> you can close Port. the the portal. Do yeah. I want to do that though? No, probably don't want to do that. Okay. Because then I can't see if the threat's coming. So okay, I'm fair. I'm gonna push her back down um, on the bed like with force and like okay. have her sit actually on the bed. <laughs> and then I'm gonna try again, and say this time I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna like almost do like kind of like a prayer. Okay. I'm gonna go, uh, Wesa, you know how you're telling me about Quatl? Well, now think about Quatl and Tess Cotley and think about them together and then come join me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, another blast, this time with significant water behind it, slams uh, broadside of the ship. Everyone make either athletics or acrobatic checks. So I'm tied off like that. And I was gonna say out to secure the crew line so everyone would be tied into the main vessel. Um, for some of them. Okay. Do you Nine. want do you want to be do you you have time to tie yourself <laughs> off or are you tying off the crew first? Me? No, oh. no I know you're oh, doing yeah. I know what you're doing. <laughs> you of course you're gonna put other people ahead of you. <laughs> That's Titus. It's called being a hero, baby. Oh um, yeah, I'll I'll <laughs> I'll tie off other people first. Okay, the crew first. Yeah. Okay. Um very well. So you got a nine? Yeah. Okay, you get flung off your feet. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, you you squat down, I have to roll first. clinging clinging to some of the gear that's been roped in, mm-hmm. and manage to keep Ooh, your feet. Not good. Eleven. Eleven. Although actually, actually, you would have automatically failed this because you're essentially paralyzed right now. Okay, so you fling. Uh, Wace's little body gets flung on top of you. Yeah. Pray with me. Ah! What did you get? Pray with me. You <laughs> 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 Uh, we got a nine. That's great. Nine. Okay, you get flung. Uh, you do. You do manage to tie to tie several of the crewmen in place before you just get launched. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, you manage to stand your ground, and because you're right next to Merrick, and you have the sentinel feet, um, you can use your reaction, make a deck save, and see if you can snatch him. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> the worst feeling in the world for you is when you get knocked off your feet because you lose your. Oh, uh, that's a natural twenty. Oof. Okay, so okay. you don't even look. Crit, you, just, you just, you just, you just, yeah. You get you just, back yeah. on your feet. Yeah, I throw you back. Down. Okay. <laughs> Mayor, tie yourself in. Oh, yeah, I don't have a beard. Don't tell the oath. Okay, so several of the several of the crewmen get banged up. Nobody's dead yet, though. Um, we'll see. We haven't actually. We might not even hit broken bone territory yet. Uh, Wayso, roll for Jason. Uh, at disadvantage because of disadvantage, his, my at, dear friend Jason. Out of, out of his exhaustion. He's a little exhausted. Oh Jay shit! Dog. Three. <laughs> Three is on the die, so that's gonna give. Yeah, he's launched. Um, he's downstairs, right inside the. Uh, yeah, no. Everybody's at this point. Everybody's everybody's collected. Low deck. Below deck. Yep. All right. He gets banged up. There's some blood running down his running down his delicate features. Oh. No. Um, as his forehead gets split open, he's smashed Aww. up against the bulkhead. Oh. Is the crew accounted for? All down in the. Uh, 
that yes, you you glance, and I'm going to say that you can. I got a healing yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm going to say you four. Yeah, right. uh, you can see them. Uh, you actually, you're you're getting you two are getting the worst of it because of where you're at. So oh. how, how it's the the two in the front, uh. or sorry, two in the two in the captain's quarters. Yeah, if everyone was secured and fine by that point, I would have started making my way to check on Waste and All right, so right now, uh, three three bludgeoning to both of you. Three, three bludgeoning. Bludgeoning, yeah, three. Right. three bludgeoning. 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 Uh, they, uh, as you slam, more alarming is the fact that the that you see some water beginning to seep through the bulkheads of uh, of the vessel as it gets twisted and it <laughs> screams. Oh, yeah. no, uh, no, you haven't heard. You haven't heard. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and this goes on for a while. And as your as your friend mm. is. Paralyzed and mm. unable to help herself, you're going to have to help both of you. Mm. So you're on, you're on the, you're on the deck now, and you're in danger of just being battered back and forth as the ship is slammed. What are you going to try to do? We're on the deck, not in the room anymore. Deck floor. Deck floor. Yeah, a de- deck is floor. So you're on the floor now. You guys are laying down. So inside what you mean is that we're yeah. still in the room. You're, the you're still in the room. Okay. Yes, <laughs> you're on the floor of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're on the floor. Um, and fortunately, the captain, because this is his, this was his quarters. Mm-hmm. He has he has meticulously secured everything in this yeah. room. Not so so, so thankfully, you're not going to have a 50 pound chest yeah. sliding yeah. around. Why did you get that stupid you. clock? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Um. Man. Well, I think. Do do I see another rope in the room? You could try to scramble back to the bed, uh, which is cinched. You could try to get to your hammock, too, which is swinging, but it would give you a point of leverage. Where's that dude who was tied down? Uh, in the bed. He's he's he's, he's wrapped in the bed. He's yeah. wrapped in the bed. He's still there? Yeah. How's he doing? I mean, yeah. he's, I mean, How's he's, he doing? He, he's, got, he's graduated from bugs to kaiju at this point, probably, to giant monsters. I mean, he's... He's screaming Talk his about ever-loving head off. <laughs> he's, just, okay. right. he's on a bad trip. That's getting there. like, I'm going to Okay, I'm going to try to stand stand up, like crouching low to the ground. And if there's, you, is there another rope or some, a blanket I could tie if I tied um, Wesa into the hammock and tied her around in the hammock? There are several. Um, there are some articles of clothing, and the hammock folds pretty nicely. So yeah, you can you can get your hands. It's like some. a it's like a canvas hammock, almost, so almost. there's no holes in it. No, no rope. Rope. It is, it is, it is rope. rope. Yeah, like a net. Like yeah, a like, net. A, okay. like, like a net. There's some there's some leather. Um, there's some because uh, the captain's a leather worker, so there there was some leather in here. You could snag some of the strips. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna pick Waysa up, okay. and I'm gonna put her in the hammock. And take a couple couple of the leather strips and quickly tie a simple knot because I just learned how to do that. I did. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's yeah. sure, guys. She's always oh. got a plan. And then I'm gonna tie a knot on one side. I'm gonna basically put in three uh, leather strips over Wesa in the hammock, so she's like kind of tied. She's gonna be like float. Sure, sure, Bouncing sure. Around, but she's not going to smash. She's in there. And the hammock, a like a cocoon and, and much, wind. Yeah. And the, 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 co- the cocoon of the hammock is such that even if it's like going really crazy, yeah. it's still not going to smash anything on its on its, it's so far away. On its pendulum. Okay, yeah. Cool. Uh, okay. Well, so uh, make an acrobatics or athletics check to keep uh, check to keep your feet under you while this is going on. You're so strong. I'm so agile, agile, mm-hmm. and athletic, and just like really high dancer. roller. Divine construct. Mm. Divine ah. Ooh. <coughs> did that did that move? Did that move? I, I didn't see okay. you for your doing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> did, uh, it, yeah. did it move it? <laughs> You're acting in good faith, Allie, whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen total. That's right. Are you doing it with uh, acrobatics or athletics? With acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay. So you uh, you put a bend in your knees, uh, you sway, and instinctually you know that there is a rhythm oh. to this. Uh, as whatever whatever is going on is moving in a in a semicircle around the ship, mm. uh, trying to keep broadside to the ship for maximum effect. I can sorry, I can sense that it's moving into semicircle. I mean, at, yeah, because you're well, you're feeling you're feeling these blasts hitting oh, the ship, like, kind of. Yeah, yep. It's like a rhythm of the. Do I have any oh, consciousness? Uh, you're you're on a you're on a bad trip right now. Ooh, what what kind? Well. 
You remember Rick and Morty? You're seeing serpent. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're seeing you're seeing uh, hostile, overly interested serpent women dancing around and trying to worm their way into your skin so that they can eat you from the inside out. Mm, like oh, they do. I wouldn't call that a bad trip. As, <laughs> as they do. You are like you're like secondarily aware of of some presence trying to help you, but uh, but you you're you're too your intention is too scattered for you to be able to marshal your chosen essence to throw off whatever this is. Okay, now initially you're uh, you're struggling now uh, make uh, make another roll depending well what do you want to do for yourself so for myself so she's strapped in now well done she's strapped in do I um, to them i think that soon what are you you're finishing you're the gonna crew. leave me mm -hmm. well you guys are all tied up are and you're gonna go you're I'm gonna sorry, leave sorry but i think she would go to the bow like she would go to the top upper deck of the ship okay well damn uh <laughs> we see her going towards the upper deck of the ship where are you going? Don't go up there. Oh, grab her back. Like, man. There's no doing? one up there. What is going on up there? It's an unnatural storm. The storm is we need to break rocking the ship. Shh. Stay below. Well, whatever Wasa saw out there is doing this, and we need to take it down. What did she what? see? I don't know what she saw. The several of the several of the crew, including the Vibius, the second mate, are in fervent prayer right now. I'm gonna join him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where did she see him? Sing our morning devotion. She saw something out of the oh, porthole in our room. Light up my, uh, I fear that my, you cannot make uh, eye contact with it. Whatever okay. so sort of made eye contact with her has rendered her incapacitated. We can't fight it blind on top of the deck. The storm will blow us off the ship. We need a brace down here. What about um, a decoy? We have a decoy? <laughs> a delivery. Initially, are you keeping yourself? So finally, the yeah. Once we get there to the hatch, to, uh, to the door, I'll I'll like show Nilish like brace yourself in between the door and use leverage against that in the sides. So, is Merrick tied in now? Uh, the crew yeah, is tied I, in. The crew yeah. is secure. I, I have like a like a like a hand tie in, you know, like okay, latch okay. where I can hold on. Fair enough. Yeah, you were you were tied in or not tied in? Not tied in. Not tied in? No. Are you going to tie yourself in, or are you going to stay mobile? I'm bracing myself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're basically like, just like, don't do anything yeah. stupid! Yeah. <laughs> I don't right. do it first! You're bracing yourselves in the doorways. Uh, both of you make another acrobatics or athletics roll. Okay. Then you're just riding it out on the... On the Hi, road. bro. Uh, 13. Six. Six? Okay. I got... Uh, Seventeen. All right, Mr. Sentinel. Since you're still, <laughs> you can try to make a de you can try to make a, a deck save to I snatch her. Okay. To snatch her. Snatch her. Uh, that is a seventeen again. Okay, God. you're about to go flying. Yeah. Uh, as uh, as this thing picks up the pace, as she's... and you misjudge the timing, you manage to you manage to snag her around the waist. So you feel you feel the deck lurch initially, and it's. Flinging you into the air, mm. and then he snatch he snatches you back oh. down to earth. Yeah, <laughs> as I pull you back, all you hear is, and you're tied in now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't go up. <laughs> um, the cat. I'm like, something Wasa saw, and I want to run, and I want to close that porthole that she saw that thing through. Okay, so you're running into the captain's cabin. Yeah, running in there just to slam that shut, and then I'll secure myself. Uh, okay, make another athletics or acrobatics roll as the deck. Uh, Where goes a twelve? Twelve. All right. Um, you run. You slam the. Uh, you slam and secure the portal just in time to have the world spin and you smash down on it. Although you're on I'm that like side of it. I'm like parallel to waste it. <laughs> then fall. Uh, oh, four, four points of bludgeoning. Cool. Crack. Bludgeoning. And yeah, no. To normal people, they would be pretty quickly broken up. It is oh, yeah. destroyed on these, Jeez. but you know, guys are preternaturally yeah. resilient. I'll uh, go back up into the the hatchway, and I'll just kind of like brace myself up while like getting ropes over, and it's kind of making sure everyone else is secure. Okay, uh, okay, you've you've actually done a good job. I mean, there's there are going to be uh, bruises. Somebody at some point grabbed uh, did did manage to grab Jason, and then uh, what's that? And you hear from you hear from up top. <laughs> Jeez. You might need to take care of this, or this shit might be just. Yeah, and then I'm. Part. 
And I'll start making. What does my it way sound up. like? It sounds like some sort of ripping of yeah. a of sail, possibly and some sort of blasting. Yeah, I'm gonna going on. run and sprint up there. I'm gonna follow him. Okay, he went to grab my yeah, untie myself, grab my sword, bow. I'm gonna chill. You're gonna <laughs> chill. All right, good, good, good. That's what I'm gonna do. Marcus, keep an eye on the crew, Marcus. Oh, I'll call for you if we need you. You see Marcus's candle of faith literally glowing right now, and that does seem to be a comfort to the men as they're as about half of them are staring intently at you. Maybe the only thing that can damage it. Maybe. When I call for you, bring your light. Understood. Oh, really? yeah. Okay. I don't want to position myself near the door or the hatch uh, going out where they just left to. But yeah, I'm and I'm, we're not going to just sprint up. Going I do want to. You mean? Yeah, I want to yeah, open it up and below deck survey here so I can just run up when I hear a yeah. call. Yeah, yeah, sure. Before going up, cracking it open and trying to survey, survey it, yeah. you can see. Like, boop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's heavy. Yeah, but okay, you, but I'm me. But you crack I help out. <laughs> yeah. um, you have to get close. It's heavy, so but short, not but the you, do, you do get there. Yep. Um, all right, you crack it, uh, and you're just in time to hear a large something just dove into the water. Oh shit! Uh, and it is back to in this topsy-turvy, insane situation. The skies look like they're just recovering from a gentle, peaceful, soothing rain. Obviously. The sun is shining. The seagulls are just as fast as the seagulls are crying. Dark and light. <laughs> and you do see a an absolutely mangled jibs jib. Okay, I'm gonna grab a harpoon, sprint up there, and run over to the side to see where the, the last I heard that splash. Okay. I'll follow him while I'm going himself. Yeah. Har- Grab me another harpoon. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. All right, uh, with with ad- oh. with advantage because you have Merrick uh, right with you. Make an investigation roll. Come on, baby. Uh, that is ten. Okay. <laughs> you look. You see where the. You see where the thing, where the splash came from? I would have ran out and just hucked a harpoon as hard as I could. I probably wouldn't have even looked for it. No, that's that. Get a pretty good sense of yeah. sound. <laughs> puncture, puncture yeah. the, puncture the waters. There's just a little bit of choppiness, a little bit of churning, to indicate what had, what had happened. Uh, sea monster. Wesa, as, as this presence, begins to leave the area, make another wisdom check and see if you can finally. Collect yourself enough to throw off this stupefaction. Wisdom seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, that's almost not sufficient. And in fact, you judge that at the height of this of the effect, that might not have done it. But you can feel it slowly starting to tick down, mm-hmm, just through mm-hmm, time. Mm-hmm. And <sighs> you you expel out. And you're your mistress of your own form again. Nalishly oh cocooned you, but uh, you do have your dagger, so you can cut your way out, or you can just on, on top, you know, if you want more time. I would lay there for a moment. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. While we're on top of the deck, yeah. do we uh, see the direction when the storm's going, and also do we see any land? Hopefully. So you don't see a storm, but what you do see. Mm. Is for once not what you don't see, but what you do see is a speck that is somehow through all of this, even though the ship was doing like this as you went, uh, and of course the the deck is a maelstrom of of destruction up here. It looks like you're approaching what might be land. Tierra, tierra. <laughs> Tierra Fuego. No. <laughs> no. I'm just gonna come out of Does he point you point out? Do I see it? Scan the What's deck, the, uh, like uh, yeah. walk around the whole. Okay, so you I do like come. look at it and Yeah, I'm just gonna walk around the whole thing, like surveilling every side of it. Did you see anything? Did you experience anything? No. Once, once it calms down, what did she, I'm gonna start making the rounds to see who's injured, who's no, not. She was cocooned. Okay. And start healing. I don't know what she saw. Are you using your Are you using your gift from Thon, or are you? Are you using your healer? I'm healers gonna do some gift. triage first to see who actually needs a gift on. Okay. And then there's one. So um, Milo mm-hmm. uh, actually uh, curled himself around Tibbs 
And so as, as the thrashing was happening, he absorbed a horrific amount of punishment to protect his dog. I totally get that. Um, and the men are standing around him and they just, they know that uh, one of them, uh, his, his best friend, uh, Grigori, says under his breath, he's bleeding inside now. It's, he's done. Who? And on that the man? Note, I'm gonna kneel down. Yeah, uh, Milo. And I'm gonna work on a theory that I have. Okay. Um, that in my moment of need, I didn't even think about light. I just cast it and it came out like that. Uh, it's gonna be kind of something like this. This man needs it. I don't need to get into my own head about it. I'm just gonna lay my hands on him and let's let it come through. All right, roll. Hmm. Uh, 11, uh, 12 with religion. Okay. As I said before, Randy, you're feeling it. And actually, even from the first time I mm-hmm. said, it's the difficulty is ticked down. Mm-hmm. And you feel the gold light, this awesome healing ability uh... that's changing, that's changing the world one, one incident at a time. One light at a time. Uh, Grigori gasps. They all kind of take a step back. Uh, the uh, Vibius leans forward, fascinated, and roll uh, roll to see how much you heal. Yeah, baby. I think we determined that wound up being a die eight plus seven total, yeah, right? We yeah. did. Nice. Yeah, uh, but I was a level less than that before. Does that still does that change the metric? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, nine. And he spits out, just spits out, and spit. he was he was dying from internal bleeding. I said, "Let it out. <laughs> be fine. Get him some water. Some water." <laughs> Is the dog injured? Miraculously, no. Oh God! <laughs> Don't think that anyway. He's uh, um, Tibbs is is looking at us, looking at his person, and. Uh, let me, see, please, let me see if I can get this vocalization, vocalization correct. Um, uh, I had I had it just there's there's a, there's a particular one, but basically, and it's like this undulating. I mean, just just super distressed. Yeah, get your dog and comfort him. Dibs, no, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Come here, champ. You're all right. You're okay. And he's he's petting him. You're okay. And then you see Tibbs just shaking. Oh, he wanted so much trouble. Uh, all right. I mean, leptus terriers in this campaign. What can I say? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dog savings. You. I, I'll probably get up. Okay. Yeah. I'll you tell them what I saw. All right. You you get up. The um the taciturn first mate Bedzeal, who has also kept his mind, has said. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I was always. I was like, was he the only one who was on deck and got through, blown off through this whole? <laughs> no, he just basically doesn't talk. And Kuins are quiet um, people. You can you you have heard you know he's he can speak. He's yeah. physically capable of it, but it's rare. Um, he he emerges uh, above above decks to join you. Fuck, and he's just looking. He immediately goes over to the jib to assess the damage and. Size and then gets to work and starts pulling out the replacement material for the sails because there's yes, no crying over a to- over, over a torn jib. Um, okay, you come out. Go ahead. Um, are you gonna Are you gonna join the bulk of the party up? Up. Yeah, yeah, I just I want it to be known. So I I say, well, you all all right? Yes, are you all right? <sighs> Wait. So what did you see? I've never seen you being incapacitated like that. Are you all right? I'm okay, and I'm okay. Maybe a little. You're a little. You're a little bruised, but that's. Yeah. That's it. I'm all right, and I. I saw the most mysterious creature in the water. Rising up. Is that what caused the storm? Yes, she was using her wings. She. Had wings. Yes, and a wings. tail, perhaps. She was dancing. Imagine, like, um, you know, when the when the dolphins do the trick, oh, when they where, like walk back, where, where they're walking on the water, Ooh. where they're like propelling themselves upright Yikes. through the water. Mm. So imagine her; she was <laughs> doing that. Yeah, it's terrifying. How big was um, this woman? She's big. 
She was big. She was big. Like, what are we saying? Like ship size. She was at least. She was at least as large as Titus and probably bigger. Oh. Okay, okay, yeah. that size, yeah. not no, so gargantuan. Yeah. 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 Not gargantuan. And, and would I know a term for this, yeah, or am I just? This is one of your gods. You're gonna have, that one you're gonna have to sit with, because you know that in, in a different era that many creatures and even monstrosities would emerge from what your people call a moy, the lake. Uh-huh. Um, but that was like in a time of legend. So there might there might be a term for her, yes. She's a creature I have never seen before, large, winged, ferociously trying to destroy us. Um, and when so, I gazed into her eyes, I, I lost all sense of myself. Is that into causing a, the hallucinations as well for the rest of the crew? Would I have a sense of that? I don't know. Did don't you know. have hallucinations after you looked into its eyes? Oh, intense. Yes, absolutely. Very, very intense. I couldn't fight it off. I was being tortured. Some sort of demon. Sea demon. Hmm. So if... Jason kind of stumbles. If she out. does appear again... Uh, if she appears again, do not look into her eyes. Is that understood? Crystal. Aye. Speaking of crystals, Jason. Yeah? Have you ever heard of a sea beast with wings, scales? Uh-uh. But I can tell you, those dark, angry lights, they're pretty much gone now. Well, thank goodness. Are they heading towards that speck? And then I'll point out to where we saw what. You look over the island, presumably. That speck is a lot closer than it should be in the time period that you have been talking. In the time span, I should say, that you've been speaking. It's, you're not right on it, but mm. it, it's, it's like you've just traveled for another, say, torch, instead of a few minutes of discussion. Is there any lights by that? Uh, hold on. Are you okay, Wesa? Hi, are you okay? I'm sorry, I'm so weak. You're not weak. Not weak. I'm going to walk up to him and put my hand on his arm, even though I think I know he's a little scared of me, but I'm going to say, you were brave today. We are You're brave. brave. You're brave. You're always brave. He, he <laughs> lunges at you and tries to hug you with one arm like a Aww. child. Aww. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hug him back. Is he's really short, right? Yeah, he's like five five. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hug him back. Okay. He he sniffs and then <sighs> wipes some tears out of his eyes and goes over. They're lights, yeah. Blue and 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 white and and gold. <sighs> Is that a good thing? In my experience, yeah, especially that combination. It's. It's gold. It's Marcus. It's, it's gold like your gold. I think there's no coincidence that there's a Jason on this ship. <laughs> Get some rest. And um, how badly does he look hurt? Uh, he he got bashed, but he's he's on his feet. Oh, I can take a look at you if you'd like. I I wouldn't say no. All right. I come back to him and do the same kind of thing. Just put my hand on his uh, this forehead, on the back of his head, just like before, and just let the flow come through. Oh, okay. Uh, in that moment, for whatever reason, or perhaps be, it's because of him, whatever is inside of him uh, receives it perfectly, and it just flows through. Cool. Um, and my my head. Oh, thank you so much. Of course. I, I never felt anything like that before. Wow. Marcus, you're a marvel. Yeah. I'm an instrument of Thorn. Thorn is the marvel. I, it's not so hard to look at you now. Mm. But you're still really bright. <laughs> and... Huh. As we wend our way can see your, to the end of the session... Oh, your battery. Yeah. Uh, Marcus, I assume, uh, I assume you can you continue to tend to the rest of the crew, and they have some capable healers as well. But they're in awe now after what you did. They know that Milo was a dead man, 
I mean, they've most of the this is remember this is a pretty experienced crew that you that you got so they've seen men injured in many many different ways and uh internal bleeding like the um the hidden blood that they talk about even for like excellent kithki healers kithki healers that's a very touch and go thing with this technology level and for some injuries if it's like around the the pericardium the you know heart sac you're just you're just gonna die mm. um and you just brought him back when no one on the ship could have. Shit. So you're tending. Uh, Waysa, what are you doing? Actually, I'm going to come back to you last. I'm going to come back to you last. Now, Lishley, what are you doing as you have another um, short day's journey to your destination? Um, I think I would probably be, be with Waysa. Okay. A little more protective than, yeah. than normal after everything you've been through. All right. Uh, Merrick? I'll put out the captain and the crew, get the any damage repair ship up to speed and control. You're on damage control. Yeah. Okay. And learning. They the are more than happy to have a 17 strength uh, person there with them, and you're picking up. Um, make a make a note that at the beginning of ne- next session, I'll have you roll to see how much of the ship craft you, you've picked up. Um, I know that's very quick, but these sorts of situations, people, if you're ever going to learn things like at Blitz, at blitz speed, it's under you know harrowing situations like this. Mm. Uh, Titus, what are you doing? Uh, reflecting on what the symbols and the gold, green, and white lights that are all around the island kind of flashing while helping, but like subconsciously kind of thinking of that. Okay, uh, blue, uh, blue, white, and gold. Blue, white, and gold. My bad. Blue, white, and gold. At some point as we get closer, I will ask permission to to go up if there's still a, a crow's nest. Um, they tell you to hold off on that because they need to inspect it to see if it got. Uh, if it got damaged. I'll ask I want to get eyes on the island and as soon as I can. Understood. Um, and just so I, as the GM, don't forget that, Corey, go ahead and note, note that down too, okay? I'll, I'll write it down as well, that you're trying to get eyes on the island. Um, <laughs> little remnants of me being an extremely uh, exacting GM for the, for the homebrew game. I was not, I was merciless uh, with with some of those groups. Okay. And uh, finally, Waysa. I would be drawing what I saw. Uh, I think it's important Ooh. to make sure oh, that's that good. I could <laughs> no, that's uh, good. relay it. And even maybe some of the visions I saw corresponding to its energy. Okay. Um, and I would be making sure that Jason is okay and we can all rest a bit. And initially, we're all just, I want to be able to. You have a sense you're going to need it. Yeah, great. Okay. And the, the scene, uh, the scene we're going to end on, very brief. Uh, you're resting, you're resting the night. It's not late, but you're already kind of uh, turned in. You've had the evening meal. It's the light knock on the door, on the hatch. Uh, to your um, to your shared your shared room. We're asleep. We're not asleep. Uh, you're you're wind, you're winding down. Okay. You're 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 winding down. I who's there? And you anticipate being uh, being at your destination either at dawn or shortly, okay. shortly after. Uh, it's me. You're Jason through the through the hatch. Jason, do you want to come in? Uh, I do. Okay. Sorry. Open the hatch. Uh, would you mind if I, could we hold each other tonight? I. He smiles and you see his, his eyes shining with unshed tears. Uh, and he, uh, he climbs in, has his, has his arms out to you. No. Little How guy. old is Jason? <clears throat> he looks the same. He looks the same age as Waysa, um, but it's very hard to get a fix on his age. Like your instincts tell you, this could not be a, a, the depth of his soul. It could not be that age. But then again, Waysa's pretty extraordinary herself, so you're not sure. I'm just like gonna like, as believe. I witness this, I'm gonna just like slowly turn around and like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Been a long day. Uh, has been. 
<laughs> yes, yes, it has. So yeah, nothing happened on the trip, right? You, you, you got there all in peace. Yep. You were got there. you were fine. Important to note now that the uh, now that the storm has uh, literally and metaphorically broken, or uh, literally and yeah, I guess metaphorically, I was going to say metaphysically too, uh, broken. The waters almost seem to be pulling you in to your destination. So that's why it's the, faster. The jib, yeah, that's why it's faster. There's some sort of Magnetic flow. There's some sort of flow. You don't know exactly what it is, but it's, it's quick. Yeah. It's quick. And even with the mangled jib, which is largely used for navigation, um, you're, you're, you're okay. Mm. Far away friends. We made it through another session. All of these people did. They did very well. You all did, you all did really well. That was the, that was the, Supposed to knock out at least fifty percent of the crew. It was, oh, it was, oh, oh yeah. wow! Well, they no. should be thanking us. Oh, that was going to be that was going to be crazy. Okay. Um, and depending on how things had gone, there was there were some other things that could have happened. But you you negated uh, a lot of stuff very very well. The psychic attacks very well. So good on that. Um, please remember, faraway friends, to vote for MVP of the session to vote for MVP of the session and uh, whoever you think did the best job or had the best role play or was the most entertaining or surprised you, however you however you care to qualify that. We, uh, we love that. Uh, we love to see that. And we will be back, same bat time, same bat channel, a week hence as you yeah. go. Yep, we're still, we're still here. Um, March, or sorry, May 7th, uh, our uh, fabulous producer Justin is not available that day, so there might be a little. We're gonna. We might try something a little something. We're gonna a little different here. We're gonna pre-record uh, something that may or may not be a session zero, and it may or may not have something to do with uh, a certain Daggerheart system. So we're maybe dipping our toes in that. We'll see if we can Ooh. get that together. See if we can get that Saucy. together. Yep. All right. Thank you so much for being with us. You yeah, have given us the gift of your time. Bye. As you go through your journey out there, stay safe and stay curious. Bye. Whoop.